Cosby coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! Okay, now, I just want to talk to you kids a minute. Uh, see, when I was a boy, I had some funny ideas about girls. Yeah. Like, I remember when I was a kid, it seemed like every time I did something wrong, some girls knew all about it and told on me. So I figured it out that all these girls belong to a secret spy network. The terrible secret order of tattletale girls. And of course, I was wrong about that. Just as wrong as Fat Albert and the gang are, and they're thinking about girls, and they're gonna find out just how wrong. Hey, Donald, what's eating you? Ah, uh, my dumb girl cousin Betty's come to live with my family. Yuck, a girl. And worst of all, she come from the South. Oh, we don't want no girl from the South. Girl from the South, yuck. Yeah, yeah, well, oh, we don't need you. Uh -uh. No. Them dudes in the South, man, is really dumb. They don't know nothing about talking good English right or anything. And you know what else? Them cats from the South always got a stupid grin on their face. And you know why? I give up. Why? Because they're stupid. Okay, Betty. The coast is clear. Come on. What are we doing here behind this wall? Shh, they hear you. I'm doing this all for you. You're all good. What are we sneaking around like this for? Believe me, there's no telling what they'll do. If they see you and me... Hi, guys. Hi, I'll squirt. Who's a skirt? Huh? Skirt? Where? Aren't you going to introduce me to your friends? Oh, oh, yeah. Friends, uh, this is her. I'm Donald's cousin, Betty, and he's told me so much about all of you. Now, let me see. Adventuresome, dashing, darling, you must be Rudy. Huh. Intellectual, aloof, distinguished. You reared Harold, right? And the devoted brothers. Big, brave Bill, and rock and sock and wrestle. <laughs> that noble brow, Bucky. And that rakish, debonair, tilt to your stocking cap, you have to be mushmel. <laughs> ah, who have we here? Mighty, powerful, magnificent, a monument of a man. <laughs> that Albert. <laughs> getting the cold treatment from the gang. I think Betty's learning what it feels like to be in a class by herself, even in a room full of kids. Ha ha, you 
you miss me. Hey, hey, hey. Nobody ever misses you, ever. Okay, I'm going to play Puss in the Corner with you cats. Puss in the Corner? Yeah, you stand in the corner and I'll smack you in the puss. Uh, I was afraid something like this was going to happen. Rudy, that tomato was part of my lunch. <laughs> the principal... Somebody going to get it. Young lady, come with me. Just wait and see. She'll tell like nobody's business. You can say that again. Before she's through squealing on us dudes, we'll have to stay after school for a hundred years, man. Now tell me, who threw the tomato? I'm sorry, Mr. Bryfogle. I just can't tell you that. Well, Miss Berry, I guess we have no choice. Betty has to pay the penalty. Take your seat, Betty. Yes, Miss Berry. Yes, Miss Berry. Stool pigeon. Rudy, when you're through. Through? Through? Through what? I know. You mean the tomato, don't you? Sure. You want me to say I threw it, don't you? Okay, I did it. I did it. Sure, sure. Well, I got news for you. I'm not taking this rap alone. He was in on it. And him. And him. They were all in on it. Rudy, that will do. You boys are all staying after school. And Betty, I want to see you too. <laughs> This is all your fault, Donald. If you hadn't brought your old cousin in here with her tomato, none of this wouldn't have happened. See what I mean, Miss Barry? They're blaming me for everything. Now, Betty, don't worry. We know it wasn't your fault. You go on home and I'll straighten it all out. Well, all right. I'll just go in and get my books. <laughs> fine mess they've gotten themselves into. <laughs> they ought to call that girl Jigsaw Puzzle. Jigsaw Puzzle? Why? Because whenever she's around, everything goes to pieces. <laughs> I don't know about this plan of yours, Donald. It'll work. All you gotta do is let the guys win and then everything will be cool. Love to play. Keep everything me, Betty. And remember, don't win, dig? Wow! A hundred and forty eleven and nothing! I bet you could beat anybody. Even our best player, Rudy. Hear that, Rudy? Hear that, Rudy? Betty's better than you are. Betty's better than you are. Knock it off, Sliver. Why did you call me Sliver? Because you get under my skin. <laughs> Can I say anyone? Uh, you on, can Rudy. do it, Rudy. Okay, cats, but a word of warning. Once that ball's in play, I show no mercy. <laughs> you serve first, Southern girl. Oh, this is gonna be good. Ooh, I can't look. <laughs> Remember now, let, now let him win. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting warmed up. I'm just getting warmed up. Just serve the ball. Really? Are you all right? He's He's okay. Okay. You He's can
should have known a girl couldn't serve, right? I'm gonna serve. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that wraps up the old ball game. Rudy, how clever of you. Huh? Imagine a great player like you pretending to lose a game to me. What? Huh? Pretending? Oh, yeah, sure. Pretending. Of course. <laughs> Had you going there, didn't I, fellas? <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, kid. Stay in your own league. <laughs> Okay, man. Enough of this female scene. Let's split. <laughs> well, for a while there, it looked like Betty was in the wrong racket. When it came to making friends with the gang, Betty couldn't win for losing. Now, with Russell on her side, the score is one love. But the game's not over yet. This old raggedy essay we got to write on King Arthur, man. Fooey. It'll take all night. I had to miss my favorite TV show, The Brown Hornet. King Arthur? Who cares about a bunch of squares from a round table? Maybe, how become we're getting so much homework lately? It's funny, man. We never had all this homework till Donald's southern cousin come here. It's all her fault. Yeah, I bet she talked the teacher into this, just to make us look dumb. Hey, we don't need her to make you look dumb. <laughs> Of duels. She means this kind of duel. Oh, Rudy, the way you handle a sword. You look just like Sir Galahad. <laughs> I'm King Arthur. In person. Who are you jiving with that King Jazz? I'm King Arthur. Give me my crown. <laughs> You be Jasmine, I be decayed a bit. I'm King Arthur. No, me. Give me that crown. Uh-uh, I'm King Arthur. No, you ain't King Arthur. Noble Knights. Noble Knights! No, 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 Hey, 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 hey,
Well, your essays on King Arthur were certainly a surprise. In all my teaching experience, I have never read papers like these. They're wonderful. You all passed with high marks. Yay! Hey, man, let's get the game going. Yay! Yay! I'm gonna pitch. I'm gonna pitch. Where are you going? Get out of the way. 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 Hey, Benny. Ain't you coming? Yeah, you gotta be empire. Cable, play me, a game but without an umpire, but maybe. Yeah! yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on. Come on. Gee, gang, this is gonna be fun. Where's Rudy? Hey, you can't win them all. Oh, well, it looks like Betty finally changed the gang's mind about her. She just hung in there until she made it. And of course, there's still old Rudy. He might come around in time, but then again, he just might not. <laughs> but that's the way the ball bounces. <laughs> When you meet someone new, they might seem strange to you cause they're different. But that's something you can't condemn cause you're just as strange to them, just as different. Think of all your friends. They were strangers too when you first met them. Cause everybody's different in their own way. That's a fact of life that's understood, yeah. Everybody's different and that's okay. Be glad that everybody's different in their own way. That's a fact of life that's understood, yeah. Everybody's different and that's okay. Me. 
This is Bill Cosby coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. Hey, hey, hey. You know, it's a lot of fun to make believe you're the conductor of a symphony orchestra, but no matter how well you can pretend, it's never as good as the real thing. And when I was a kid, my folks couldn't afford to buy me a musical instrument, so I became a hummer. And pretty soon, I got to be one of the world's foremost hummers. Yes, indeed. Classical. Pop. Jazz. Rock. Country. You name it. I can hum them all, and in eight languages, too. Now, there's nothing in the world like making your own music. <laughs> Fat Albert and the kids had their own music when they formed the Junkyard Band. And in today's show, you're going to see how the Junkyard Band began. <laughs> Hello, Cos. Can you hold it for a second? Good. There. How'd you like that? It sounds promising. Promising, huh? Yeah, I wish you'd promise never to do it again. <laughs> Little joke there. If you really want to hear some music, dig this. <laughs> Listen, uh, there's only two things wrong uh, with your playing. What's that? Your hands. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Remember, he said that. I did. What does he know about showbiz? Wait till Fat Albert and the rest of the cats at the junkyard catch Rudy's ruthlessly cool one-man combo. <laughs> Come on, dudes. What do you think of my performance? The only thing you can play is hooky. <laughs> okay, wise guys. But you're gonna laugh on the other side of your head when I get my big break. Big break? Where? My special engagement. At Jake's on the pier. Real believe? Just wait till I start my coast-to-coast -to -coast tour. I'll be traveling in style with my own mobile star trailer and staying at only the finest places, chowing down on only the finest grub, and sailing around the whole world. <laughs> yes, sir, I'll be the toast of the town. Too bad you losers can't play no musical instruments like me. <laughs> I'm gonna make me a real bundle. Eleven million thousand dollars. Wow. And it's gonna be mine, all mine. Well, cats, I'm splitting. Got me a gig. Wow, Rudy's gonna be famous. Ho, ho, ho. Big deal. Just because his daddy's rich and bought him that fancy guitar. Twang, twang, twang. I bet we could be better players than old Rudy if our dads bought us musical instruments. My dad was all ready to buy me a drum for my birthday, but he didn't. How we come be? He forgot the size of my mouth. My dad will buy me the best drum in the world when he finds out how much money we can make. Yeah, my dad will pop for electric xylophone. My folks are going to get me a big pipe organ, just like in church. My big folks be, are be going to the bargain basement to buy but me the biggest bass in the basement. <laughs> hey, 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 when I get my horn, 
I'm going to toot all day. Toot, toot, toot. I don't know. I don't think my mama never buy me a last <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Boy, that's one thing about my folks. They always give me what I ask for. Hey, hey, hey. There's one bad thing about my folks. They never give me what I ask for. <laughs> I told you so. I told you so. <laughs> How about the rest of you cats? Well, there is a bright side to all this. Bright side? Yeah. With no music instrument, we don't have to rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Only one thing keeping us from buying those instruments. Yeah? What's that? No money! <laughs> hey, man, cool it with that slurping jazz. We're trying to think. Hey, hey, hey. Don't throw that bottle away. Why not? Because there's beautiful music in this bottle. <laughs> what you hearing in that bottle? I'm hearing that you can collect bottles to get money to buy musical instruments. Right. There must be 11 million bottles in our alley alone. But that's not all we can do to get money. We can collect old papers. And we can mow lines. And wash windows. Amber, help the baker and the butcher bring the boxes in from the back of the building. Yeah, and I can sell Bill Scooter. When you get a little brother, you don't need enemies, man. <laughs> Okay, men. Let's get organized. Weird Harold, you take your boys and cover the alley. From here down to the candy store. Check. Dumb Donald, you take your men and canvas everything from the deli to the bowling alley. Check. Kadri, your crew will comb the territory south of the car barn. Check. And I'll take my posse and head them up at the pass. What? What? <laughs> what you talking about? That's what they all say in the Western movies. Okay, men. You all got your assignments? Let's move out. Hup, two, three, four. Oh, 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 we're collecting them to get money to buy a music instrument. Collecting bottles? Now, you see, that puts me in mind of the time when I used to collect bottles. Tell you how we used to do it. Slick and me, that's, that's my favorite buddy, Slick wasn't scared of nothing, see? Like the time a bear come after, see? Now, this bear was no ordinary national park bear, no siree. He's a big, mean, waterfront, gas house, back alley bear, see? And he's growling. He said, oh, oh. Well, sir, that old bear, he's just gaining on us. It's closer and closer come to the bear until we could feel his hot breath on the back of the neck. Now, if you ever, any of you can testify to the fact that you felt hot bear breath on the back of your neck, never, not one of us. So things look bad for slicking me until I got the ID. Well, come on, my foot. What happened, huh? Yeah, what, what happened? Uh, wh what do you do with the bear? Bear? What bear? You know the bear who was chasing you? Well, uh, how'd you get away from him? Oh, easy. See, I just stuck uh, my hand in the, in the bear's mouth, reached in real far down, and grabbed him by the tail and pulled real hard. <laughs> yes, that old bear and uh, pulled hard and turned him inside out, and so he ran another way. Hey, 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 Mudfoot, you putting us on. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> I got a lot more minty bottles in my backyard, and you can have them. Thanks, Mudfoot. But you got to get them yourself. I don't have time for that kind of stuff. I'm busy here. You kids got to learn to do for yourself. That's the trouble today. Need gardening done, lady? Oh, yes. Here it is. <laughs> hey, mister, would you read your paper faster? 
so you can give it to me when you're done. And they kind of, uh, of a kind of bug, us guys are trying to collect papers, too. <laughs> Wash your windows for you, lady? Why, yes. That would be nice. All finished, lady. Oh, you've done a wonderful job. Now, I've got something for you. A whole stick of gum to split between you. <laughs> Quiet now! Walk your dog for a nickel, lady. Sure, kid! <laughs> He's all yours, kid! <laughs> Mr. Baker Man, I want to help it. I'm going to help it. Come on, let me help it. Yeah. Careful, but don't be tripping on this. Yeah, here's a nickel. Go down the street and help the butcher. I became it. He gave me a dime to come to help him, you. <laughs> oh, boy, we got it made. Yeah, right, Billy. Here he comes. Yeah, we. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah, Bring with me the big bass. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I want to play. Lay that guitar on me. Give me that thing, drop it. 60, 100, uh, 80, uh, 200. That comes to four hundred and eighty-three dollars and forty-four cents. <laughs> well, what can we get for sixty-three cents? <laughs> One broken drumstick. It's a good deal. You can't beat it. Get it? You can't beat it. I ain't pussyfooting. You just can't beat it. <laughs> Looks like the guys have been having a lot of luck, mostly bad. I think if they're going to find a way to get those musical instruments, they're going to have to do it some other way. Maybe they'll swing it, and then again, maybe they won't. What's so funny? You can't even read. I can't, too. I'm reading the pictures. Rock and break, short-sighted dude. They don't know good music when they hear it. What's eating you, Dad? My musical debut at Jake's at the Pier was canceled. How come? My electric guitar blew the power in two places. What but two places, but? Uptown and downtown. <laughs> Russell, will you knock that off? Hold it. Get your own instrument, kid. <laughs> Wait a minute. There, try that. <laughs> no class. That looks more like something you'd blow in than something you'd hit on. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait a minute. Hey, this, this, this just might do it. Okay, now. <laughs> go, man, go. Hey, 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 my wind's blown away. I'm bagged. Bagged? Yeah. Hey, but your wind bag. Wind bag. <laughs> Well, there was...
was uh, New Orleans jazz, progressive jazz, Chicago Dixie, Kansas City blues, Woodstock rock, and now the North Philadelphia Junkyard Band. One. 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 Shows what you can do if you want something really bad. And this is pretty bad. But a lot of good things begin bad and then get better. And the kids have made a start, and really, from almost nothing. And that's real creativity. Making do with what you got. <laughs> Blow into a steam pipe and listen to it sing. Then just start a drumming on an old trash can and put it all together just like the junkyard band. We're all together playing in the band. We're all together. Come on and clap your hands. Well, that was the birth of Fat Albert's Junkyard Band. But it all started from scratch, or lack of scratch. But maybe music isn't your bag. Okay, it might be something else like painting, making clothes, or building stuff. Just remember one thing. It all starts up here, from nothing. No, it isn't that there's nothing here. See, you know what I mean. <laughs> Us cats know how to play. Man, when our junkyard band plays, you can hear them cheering clear across the street. Why? Who, who's playing across the street? <laughs> I dig the big sound of our big band. Uh, me, me too. But when you're on top, you gotta keep improving yourself, right? Right! Maybe we got too much brass in the junkyard band. Maybe we need some more strings. Uh-huh. What string instrument you like best, Donald? Uh, uh... 
a shoestring. <laughs> something before it's done. kind of guy to wear a funny hat to get a laugh, but you gotta see this one here. All right, now don't laugh, because this hat is a very special hat. This hat is what I never got to wear to Camp Green Lake. See, I got this hat especially at the Army Navy surplus store, and when I found out all of us kids were going to summer camp, I just bought it and loved it, but don't you know, I forgot to take it with me. <laughs> Our folks were anxious to send us to summer camp and get us out of the city. See, they wanted us to have all the things they never had. Poison oak, mosquito bites, charcoal, burned potatoes, and all that neat stuff. <laughs> but summer camp can be a lot of fun. Fat Albert and Old Weird Harold and all the gang are really looking forward to going to camp and getting away from the neighborhood for the first time. All right, we're going to camp. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Keep an eye on your stuff. You can't trust cats that are different. Watch your stuff. I wouldn't trust those guys. They don't look right to me, boy. Chuck, anybody with a duck, we'd better duck. Attention, men. Welcome to Camp Green Lane. I am Mr. Gonzalez, your camp counselor. I am here to see that you are all have a really good summer. <laughs> to make sure that everything goes smoothly, let's get organized. Attention! <laughs> Fall in! What's with this fall in jazz? I'm not gonna. Fall in! Up, two, three, four. Up. Hey, hey, hey! Just like the Army of the USA. Two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. How do you get out of this chicken outfit? One, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. As soon as you get your gear put away, line up for chow. Oh, I'm a hungry. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> well, I know I, I forgot it. Ah, uh, well, listen, uh, the guys are getting their first taste of camp life. I'll never forget the first day at camp for me. I set the world record for the high jump, 100 yards. I stepped on a snake. Of course, when I came back down an hour later, they told me it was a harmless snake. Of course, I knew that all the time, but I was just playing it safe. Anyway, Fat Albert and the gang haven't run into any snakes, but they're going to have a problem while getting adjusted to their new surroundings. All right, men. Enjoy your meal. And when you're done, report back to your cabin. Oh, boy, my favorite, vanilla ice cream. Vanilla fooey. I want chocolate. Yeah, hey, great. Nothing like vanilla. Yeah, love yeah, vanilla. I love vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Love vanilla. Watch this, guys. Hey, big boy. Want my ice cream? You better believe it. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> Now, men, we're going to make our own mattresses. Each one of you take a bag and fill it with hay. Hey, boy. When I want you to carry my bag, I'll call you. I'll give you two bags, carrot hit. One for each eye. Give me that. Over my dead body. I'll show you. That's mine. Let go. Get him. Get him in here. Beat him up. Let go of him. Ow. Hey, cut that out. All right. Hit him. Hit him. Hey, hey. Get away with that. Hit him. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Let me at it. Good, man. We're here 
to have fun, not fight. Let's get those mattresses stuffed. Get this. You can have hay in your mattress. I'll take feathers. <laughs> Come here, Waddly Bottom. Hey, 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 That's enough horseplay. You men are going to have to learn to live together. That'll be the day. <laughs> when will we go home, Bill? It's way at the dark. We just got here. We're staying overnight for two weeks. I'm scared. I miss Mom. I miss Mom, too. But it's going to be fun. You see. I've just been asked for a story. Who else wants to hear one? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, Bravo. Yeah, Bravo. Yeah, How are you, yeah, How are you yeah. coming from? Instead of me telling the story, how about one of you men doing it? Any volunteers? Tell your chicken heart story, Bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell, tell it to him, come on. Lay it on me, brother. Yeah, tell, tell me. Why. Tell, tell me, me about it. Bill. Okay. Tell me. You ain't scared me. Oh, you can't scare The chicken heart that ate up New York City. Go, chicken heart. Go, go, go get him. Thun, thun. Thun, 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 thun. The chicken heart was kept alive in a vat in a laboratory in a special solution. One day, um, a careless janitor knocked the vat over. The janitor went to get a rag to clean it up. Thun, 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 thun. And the chicken heart grew. Thun, thun. Six foot, five inches. Thun, thun. He went out in search of things to eat. <laughs> it went out of the hallway and rang for the elevator. Toot, toot. Toot, toot. <laughs> it moved out into the street. Toot, toot. Toot, toot. Toot, toot. Ate up all of the cabs. Beep, beep. Ate up the Jersey Turnpike. Premium boots, It's coming through the woods. He's right behind you. Now, all get into your sleeping bags and turn in. Relax, Russell. I'm taking care of that old chicken heart. Hey, Bunky, I don't think it's such a good idea to go around scaring those guys. Yeah, that's dumb. Party poopers. You guys don't know what fun is. <laughs> Is that the ego scare the chicken heart away? I guarantee it. Crack and be ready to go home. You'll be all right, Russell. You'll get used to this, man. Come on, Bill. You're up next for the creek hurdling. Come on, chicken. Quit stalling. Stay with me, Bill. Why don't you get lost, kid? Here's your pole, bird brain. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I greased his pole for him. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wise Guy, you've been asking for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Russell Cosby. Oh, my goodness. Russell's gone! You mean that little kid? We gotta find him before he gets himself all messed up. Come on, gang! Let's go! Hey, Russell! I'll come and get you. Whoa! Don't, don't be scared, kid. Hang on, Bunky! this past two weeks has meant as much to you as it has to me. Hey, uh, you guys coming back next summer? Oh, uh, I guess so. Uh, you coming back? Uh, yeah, well, maybe, yeah, yeah. Well, see ya. Yeah. So long, pal. So long, men. See you next year. Hey, I don't want to go home. I like him. I want to go back. Come on, Bill. Make him turn around. Let's go back. <laughs> 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 Vacation is over for the gang's parents. <laughs> Russell, Fat Albert, and the gang had a rest of the summer to relive their great experiences at Camp Green Lane. They'll be telling their friends all about Bunky and how he turned out not to be as bad as he seemed. But then again, he couldn't have been that bad. The best thing was that the kids got to meet some new friends. And here's a song that came out of that experience. We're all the same. We live in one. 
kind of tough leaving all our cool friends back at Green Lane, wasn't it? I'll say. And how about that little owl we made friends with? Yeah, but I hear he's feeling lots better. Remember how sad he was? Uh-huh. Man, he was real low. He just didn't give a hoot about anything. <laughs> we live in one world, one world, and this is the place. It's one world with one kind of people, the human race. We live in one world, one world, and this is the place. It's one world. Hey, hey, hey. Camp Green Lane is okay. Cool place, man. Real cool. And the coolest of all, we got to meet some new friends, huh? Can't have too many friends. Or enemies. Huh? Need enemies to tell us our faults. Yeah? And we need friends to tell everybody else. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Yeah. Well, Albert's still writing. Hey, turkeys. Listen, man. We hear you dudes think you're pretty tough. So we're gonna challenge you to the Buck Buck Championship of the world. You must be kidding, man. We've never lost. Yeah, we can beat everybody. We'll find out. Be at the lot Saturday at noon. We'll be there, man. Hey, Russell, find Albert and tell him to meet us in the junkyard for our way in. <laughs> Well, listen, while the guys are getting ready for their weigh-in, I'd like to explain to those of you who don't know just how to play the game of Buck Buck. See, first you need a pole. Now you need some kids. Now the first kid to make the horse comes in, grabs the pole, puts his head to the side, and he ducks it down, and he holds on to the pole like this. Now the second kid behind him puts his arms around his waist like this, ducks his head down. Now, you got to keep your head down because when you make this horse, see, some other kids are going to come and jump on top of you, and they just keep coming and jumping and jumping and jumping until you can't hold the weight anymore. Now, suppose you keep your head up like this. Somebody lands on you and mashes your head down in your chest, and you look like a turtle. <laughs> I mean, we had the champion buck-buck team of the world. 
When we played Buck Buck, there was nobody that whipped us anywhere in the world. And you can tell kids who play a lot of Buck Buck because, you see, their bodies are built like this. From here to here, that's regular. But their legs are only this long because they've been crushed so many times. Uh -oh. Here comes Fat Albert. I guess the weigh-in is about to start. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Okay, Bill, it's your turn. Beautiful, man. You're right on your playing weight. Everybody's in perfect shape so far. Okay, Albert, you're up. Hey, hey, hey! Out of my way! Uh-oh, we're in trouble. According to the scale, you're really underweight, Albert. Yeah, man. Are you on a diet or something? No, I just quit snacking between snacks. All I know, man, is that without you, we don't stand a chance with those guys. I'm calling an emergency meeting right now. The meeting will now come to order, and I don't want no messing around while I'm talking. Now we'll have our secretary read the minutes of our last meeting. <clears throat> our last meeting lasted 33 minutes. Okay, okay. Now let's get down to business. As you know, our club has been challenged for the Buck Buck Championship of the World. And with Fat Albert underweight, there's a good chance we'll lose. We're gonna have to fatten him up before Saturday. Hey, that's my banana. Sorry, Russell. But this is no time for you to think of your stomach. We gotta start thinking of Albert's stomach. Chow down, Albert. As of now, you're in training. Well, if you're kind of training, I like. There's plenty more where that came from, Albert. Hey, man, that's my lunch. Relax, relax. Every pound Albert gains is a pound in our favor on Saturday. I'll eat to that. Hey, all that eating's making me hungry. How about some refreshments? Good idea. How much we got in the treasury, Donald? Now, let's see. We got 73 cents. Four bubblegum cards, five bottle caps, and two wads of bubblegum. <laughs> Meeting adjourned while we go get some refreshments. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh, oh, I am yeah. kind of hungry. I want a purple sucker. And I want a licorice. Rock candy for me, man. I got jizz on jawbreaker. Cool it, cool it. Our anchor man gets first pick. Our anchor man? Yeah, Fat Albert. <laughs> right. Who else weighs as much as an anchor? Go ahead, Albert. <laughs> Take your pick. I think I'll have a peppermint stick. No, no. Some lemon drop. No. Wait, maybe some jelly beans. No. Licorice with. Wow, I can't decide. Molasses squares. No. Oh. Come on, Albert. Get it together, man. I know. I'll have one of everything. Hey, what about us? Yeah, I'm starving. Where's your team spirit? Unless we get Albert up to his playing weight, we all lose on Saturday. Hey, bit. It's bit starving to rain. Yeah, let's split. Wait a second. What kind of friends are you? You gonna just take off and let Albert get all wet? What if he catches cold? He's our most valuable player. I am? Yeah, I guess I am. Use that box for our umbrella, Albert. And let's split. Hey, how am I supposed to eat holding the box at the same time? That's right. Give him a hand, you guys. Come on, Albert. Move it, man. We're all getting wet. You want me to eat and run? My stomach will cramp. Too bad your lips don't cramp up. Hey, my feet are getting wet. Hey, our feet getting wet, guy. Maybe he'd like us to carry him home, too. That's the spirit, Bill. Man, this team really has morale. No, man. I was just... <laughs> hey, Rudy. I'm in Lincoln. How did you find time to fit it in? It's all that eating, Albert. That's what I've been thinking, about eating. <laughs> If I'm going to perform at my peak tomorrow, i got to have a good pre-game breakfast, man. So? My mom goes to work early, and we don't eat breakfast, so I figure if all you guys could sneak your breakfasts out of the house tomorrow, i eat them. Good idea? Huh? Man, why should we give you our breakfast? Because I'm the most valuable eater. 
Day. Grits, bacon, and hot cornbread covered with peanut butter and syrup. And I gotta give it away. Listen, Al, why don't we eat half of everything and give old fat Albert the other half? Nobody will know the difference. Nobody except our stomach. Love <laughs> 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 cornbread. <laughs> okay, turkeys, line up. We got a secret weapon, but we're gonna keep it hidden until we need him. He's close. Ready? Bug bug number one, coming. Bug bug number two, coming up. Ow! Hey, these guys got rocks in their pockets. If you think it looks rocky for our kids now, just wait till you see what's ahead. <laughs> Don't look now, gang, but the battle isn't over yet. Buck, buck number 12 coming up. <laughs> hey, are, Harold. Don't give up now, man. Don't talk to me. Talk to my leg. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. You held 12 of us. Of course, we usually hold 40 or 50 ourselves. All right, let's line up. Okay, let's go. We haven't got all day. Then get ready, turkeys, because here comes the baddest, meanest, toughest, hungriest dude you ever saw. Hey, what was that? A mosquito? <laughs> you guys don't have no weight. Oh, yeah. Buck, buck number two, come in. Go get him, Bill! It's me! Ooh. Come on, Bill, move it. A piece of paper. Somebody threw a piece of paper on top of me. Papa number three, come All I gotta say is I'm glad we've got Fat Albert. Come on, Rudy. Hey, when you guys jump on, be sure to tell us. Because we can't even feel you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got, we got one more man, and I guarantee you'll feel him. And you guys are in trouble, because he's the baddest bug bug breaker in the world, man. Come on out, Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey. You get out go! Hey, 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 what's going on? Uh, I'll come to ground shaking. That's Fat Albert coming to get you. Hey, hey! Hey, I don't feel too good. Come on, Albert. Yeah, hey, come on, Albert. Hang in there. Go, Albert. Yeah, hang in there, Albert. Where to go? Hey, Albert. Where you going? Home. I ate too much, man. We win. We win. We're the Bug Bug champions of the world. <laughs> Man, I can't just believe we lost. Nobody ever beaten us at Buck Buck before. Yeah, and I bet we could have gone to the Olympics. We would have, if Fat Albert hadn't a chicken out at the last minute. I always thought Albert was really cool, but he turned out to be a big turkey. So I make a motion that we kick Fat Albert out of our club. I second the motion. I third the motion. <laughs> that goes for me, too. Right on, yeah. Hold up a minute. Well, all known Fat Albert a long time, man. He's our friend. Some friend hogging all the food and making us carry him around on our backs. Yeah. Albert used to be cool, but lately he's been throwing his weight around. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, it's unanimous. <laughs> Fat Albert's out of the club. I got, I got some, some bad, bad news, news fellas. Albert. Huh? What's your bad news, Albert? I'm gonna be moving away. The truck's coming tomorrow to take all our furniture. What's your bad news? We've kicked you out of the club, Albert. <laughs> the 
Them low down cow rustlers are getting away, Buck. And we'll head them off at the pass. Come on, Harold. It's my turn to be Buck. No, man, you're Dale. And you're supposed to be riding side saddle. Okay, I'll be Dale. But I ain't riding side saddle. <laughs> Cowboys just ain't funny without Albert, man. Yeah, he played a great herd of cattle. I kind of miss old Albert, man. Me too, man. We had lots of fun together. What's the matter with you guys? You have amnesia or something? It was Albert who let us down when it counted yesterday. Yeah, but it was your idea to stuff them all full of food, not his. Yeah, well, um... We owe Albert an apology, man, I'm telling you. Me too, man. Come on, let's, let's go find him. Hey. Ma'am? If you're looking for your friend Albert, he's gone. Gone? gone. A big truck carted all their stuff away about an hour ago. Well, we'll never see Fat Albert again. Things just won't be the same without Albert around. Yeah, we sure did have some good old times together. Like that time when, when we all built our own scooters, remember? Right. And Fat Albert kept his secret and wouldn't let us see it. <laughs> Hey, Albert. Come on, man. We're going swimming. Hold it. I'm almost done. And now, announcing the fastest, most coolest scooter in the whole world, the Fight Albert Special. Hey, hey come on, man. Pretty cool. That's Hop on, you dudes. I'll drive you down to the river in style. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Come on, Albert, slow down, man. Relax. This baby will stop on a dime. Yeah, well, I hope the dime has a lot of glue on it, man. <laughs> I better put on the emergency brake. Fire, fire. My shoe's on fire. Somebody get some water. Don't, don't sweat it, Albert. Hey, in about two seconds, you're going to have all the water you need. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't do it. I can't swim. Hey, look at this. We're floating. Yeah, floating. Right into that big ship. Let's get out of here. This ain't working. We need a motorboat. Yeah, that gives me an idea. Never again will I knock you for spouting off at the mouth, Albert. No, no doubt about it. Albert was really cool. Yeah, he was a real friend. If only we knew where he moved to, we could write him and apologize for putting him out of the club. Now he'll go through life thinking we're mad at him. Bad. And I'm sure I got a best friend, Albert. I think we're all going to miss him, man. A whole bunch. Hey, man, we can't just sit here all day. Let's go do something. Cowboys is out. Without a herd of cattle to rustle, it just ain't no fun. <laughs> hey, it's Fat Albert. No, it's not. It's a herd of stampeding cattle. <laughs> Slap leather, boy. We got a vermouth after them critters. Prado. What you doing about here, Fat Albert? We thought you had moved. I did. Just around the block. What do you know? <laughs> We're all still riding the same range. <laughs> you know, friends. Friends. It's it's a funny thing about friends. I mean, they can kid each other, and they can call each other names. They can even fight each other. And when they split up, one of them moves away. They really miss each other. And when you think you're going to lose a friend like Fat Albert, now there's a whole lot of friend you're going to miss. But I think that this song can say it a lot better than I.
know that house I moved into? Uh-huh. It's got a square bathtub. A square bathtub? Why? So I can't leave a ring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! fun of life is anticipating, you know, looking forward to how good something is going to be before it happens. Yes, indeed. Like the time I sent away for a muscle development kit. And all I got for my box top and 25 cents was a raggedy bone book that I was supposed to tear in half. I showed him. I did tear it in half. A page at a time. <laughs> Anyhow, I had a ball thinking about my muscles before the mailman came. A fat Albert and the gang are thinking about how it's going to be taking a day off from school. It's a groovy thought, but somehow things don't always work out the way we hope. <laughs> I sure wish I didn't have to go back to school this afternoon. Yeah, me too, man. I sure don't feel like sitting in no raggedy classroom. Yeah, man, sitting in there reading them old books when we could just be out there having us some fun in the daytime. Yeah, we could be on our scooters. Yeah, we can be playing baseball. We could be catching that old ball. How be cumber? We be gotta go over to a crumby old school anyway, but maybe. Because you have to. Everybody knows you're a little kid. You have to go to school because you have to go to school. Yeah, but we don't have to go to school. Yes, you do, man. They got your name on that piece of paper, and when they call your name, if you ain't there, then you ain't there. And when you ain't there, they put a mark on your name, man, saying that you ain't there. So? So when you bring home your report card, then your mother say, well, how come you didn't go to school? Yeah, but mom can't remember all them days I'm out. And I just say, well, that's a mistake the teacher made. Let me not we go but back with tuba school this afternoon. That's the trouble with you, man. 
No class. Huh, but you can't split up no hooky day. Who but shaba shoba? Everybody says so. I know. I think we shouldn't go to school tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow, we take the whole day off and have some fun, all of us. Why right right don't I hear you? Yes. I don't know. If our folks find out about it, they scream their heads off. What do you mean? We ain't gonna hear nothing. <laughs> I know, I ain't gonna hear nothing. I'm deep. Bye, Mom. We're going to school now. Hey, Bill. I thought you were gonna play hooky. What was that? He said, save us a cookie for after school. <laughs> that Albert. Time to go to school. Yeah, but don't be one but be late, but for the school. But. So long, Mom. If you want me today, I'll be at school all day. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's happening? How's it going, man? Hey, be, I be, you be. Hey, look what my mom gave me. An apple for the teacher. <laughs> hey, Donald. What's been going on? Uh, uh, hi, hi, uh, hi. What are you doing with all them school books? Don't you dig, man? He's playing it cool. Makes everybody think he's going to school. <laughs> I, I am going to school. Hear that? He's going to school. <laughs> huh? You're going to school? Uh, well, I, I gotta dust off my desk. Uh, I, I gotta change the air in the table, uh, huh? Uh, and I, I gotta check the eagle on the flagpole and... and Dono is a chicken, Dono is a chicken. Dono is a chicken, Dono is a chicken. I'm not a chicken, I just don't feel like playing hooky, that's all. Dono is a chicken, 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 Dono is a chicken. Chicken, Hey, 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 it's Dono ever steamed. Woo! Oh, Donald's so uptight. No telling what he'll do. <laughs> I bet he tears his locker door right off the hinges when he gets to school. <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna slam his books down so hard on his desk that the whole building's gonna shake, man. <laughs> yeah. And then he'll tell the teacher we're all playing hooky. Ha 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 He wouldn't do that to us, would he? Yes, he would. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Love the skateboard. But, 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 like a yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, Fat Albert and the kids have made the big jump. Instead of going to school, they've decided that they're really going to play hooky. Going to have a great old time of it, too. At least that's what they tell themselves. Hooky's great, man. Couldn't do this in no school. Look out! <laughs> What's the matter when you kids come roaring down the hill like that, banging in on old man with his junk wagon? Uh-oh, we're sorry. We get it all picked up for you. Don't get mad, mister. We'll fix everything for you. I don't need your help. What are you kids doing out of school anyway? Uh, what? School? What school? You know good kids are ditching school just so you can mess up an old man with his junk wagon. But, but... I'm calling the police! Help! Police! Help! These kids, these kids are messing up an old man with his junk wagon! Help! Hey, 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 let's be on our way. Wait, Bill. I want my skateboard. Come on. You want to get caught by the police for messing up an old man with his junk wagon? Help! You kids come back here and wait for the police to whoop you! Hey, man. The coast is clear. I be sure be hoping that the old be man be with his junk be wagon don't tell the police be where be we be are, be man be. Uh, he don't know who we are. 
But Dada knows who we are, and he's got to tell everybody at school, you're all playing hooky. Russell, they ought to call you Surrender. Surrender? Yeah. I take one look at you, and I give up. Yeah. Poor oh, Donald, he wouldn't blow the whistle on us dudes. Yeah. We're playing hooky to have fun. Now watch my fat Albert flip-flop. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 made my own subway. <laughs> Love to go cruising. I be don't be dig be. How but we be gonna get it? I boat but ride it. Do I gotta spell everything out for you, man? Mmm. But... Here's the scoop. See that garbage scowl coming down the river? Captain Albert's gonna fling that old harpoon smack dab in the back of that scowl. And we're gonna get a free tow all the way down the bay. Dig? Harpoon? Away. <laughs> I be don't be dig me. How but we be gonna get a boat but ride but maybe? No class. <laughs> it's almost ready. If the squares in school could only see us now. Hey, hey, hey. Ski jump away. Okay, crew. You do like I say. And this old toboggan's gonna fly off that old ski ramp, clear into outer space. Let me out. I'm scared. Don't worry. We're gonna go sailing high in the sky and come coasting to a stop in the nice soft ashes, man. Forward. Yo. <laughs> That old boob sled. That's Bob sled. <laughs> the way you drive it, it's a boob sled. <laughs> hey, but Harold, I'm getting it down, but maybe. Tell me again, but about a good time, but we have been playing hooky. Hey, hey, hey. Hooky's better. Late in the day, day, day. Uh oh. The police. I be new, but Ebbet, the old man be with the jump wagon told but on us, but... Let's split. Hey, you kids, I'm new in this neighborhood. Where's a good place to eat lunch? <laughs> well? Big, big, uh, bum, bip, bip, bips, um, uh, bob, uh, bu bully, bobby, beef, bar, barbecue. But... Thanks, kids. <laughs> that was close. wants to ride on the hand car. Me? Come on, Russell! Gangway! Hey, hey, hey! hey. Wow! Hey, wow.
that man going to turn us into the police. And you all be ended up in jail. Oh, try up, kid. I wish I could. I wish we all could. <laughs> I'll tell you, Chuck, there's no percentage in going to work until you've given everything else a fair trial. The way I figure it, Len, the later we are today, the more we'll get done tomorrow. <laughs> hey, you kids are soaking wet. Yeah. Come on over to the fire and dry off. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks. Hey, I'll bet you kids are playing hooky. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no? Then what are you doing around here? We be just be flunked robocalver. <laughs> we haven't met all day. Can you spare a little food, please? <laughs> uh? Pretty tasty, huh? I don't know what's in that. <clears throat> Once you get used to outdoor cooking, it spoils you for that slop they serve at home. Right, man? <laughs> you wouldn't think it to look at us, but Len and me were just as bad off as you poor kids once. Huh? Us poor kids? Yeah. Yes, sir. Chuck and I, uh, we started out with nothing in life to look forward to. Yeah. Then we started playing hooky, and a whole new world opened up to us. Right. And you kids can have what we've got, too. I can see you now, saying goodbye to your dull humdrum routine. Yeah, riding free under only the best freight cars. Touring every hobo jungle from coast to coast. Meeting the best people and staying in the best places. And the best part of it all is you don't have to worry about keeping in touch with old friends and relatives. Yeah, because if you don't go to school, you'll never learn to read and write letters. And another thing. Uh-oh, our private car is pulling out. We gotta run. <laughs> Remember, kids, the good life can be yours. Hey, what you kids doing down here so early? School didn't start for two hours. You ever heard of dropouts? Well, hey, 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 we're drop-ins. Okay, now pay attention, you dudes. We got uh, some catching up to do. Now, around uh, uh, what year was the Magna Charta sign? That's Carter. Shut up. Who's the teacher here, anyway? <laughs> I think Fred Albert and the kids kind of discovered one thing today. School may not be the greatest, but the worst thing in the world is not going to school when there is school. To prove that they've learned their lesson, Fred Albert and the kids have come up with a song about playing hooky that tells it like it really is. You give a listen. Hey, hey, hey! I see you over there sneaking around like you're some private eye. Uh-huh. You really think you're getting away with something, don't you? Well, just you listen here. There's no fool like a fool playing hooky. There's no fool like a fool playing hooky. Reset, 
You get your tonsils taken out. They always promise you ice cream afterwards. That's how it was when I went. And that's how it is right now with Russell. <clears throat> Russell! Russell! Hey, Russell! Where are you, Russ? Hey, Harold. You seen Russell? No. Why don't you check with Donald? Hey, man, you know where Russell is? No! Hey, Rudy, you see my little brother? I gotta take him to the school doctor today. Okay, Russ, I know you're there. I am not here. I'm a lamp. Uh-uh, you ain't no lamp. How do you know? Because the lamp is bright. Come on. Let go of it. I don't want to go to a doctor. You can't make me go. Turn me loose. Help me. Somebody help me. Don't let him take me. Take him. Or him. Or him. I'm too young to die. Do you hear? I'm just a little kid. N. C. N. C. No class. <laughs> Like I said, Russell, the doctor only comes here once a year, and all he's going to do is look at you and see that you're okay. Understand? Yeah, I understand. And you're not scared? No, I'm not scared. Then get down off of there. <laughs> Russell Cosby. That's him. The doctor will see you now. <laughs> Welcome, young man. Get me out of here. That's the bad doctor for 
the bully. I am not mad, young man. But I will be if you don't get in here. I won't go. I won't go. You can't do this to your little brother. There's nothing to it, Russell. All you gotta do is open your mouth like this and say, ah, ah. Hmm, very interesting. These tonsils have to go out right away. See what I mean? Nothing to be afraid of. What? That's right. <laughs> hmm, you too. Huh? Nurse, make arrangements at the hospital and notify their parents. We can't go. We gotta go to the store uh, for, for our, our mother. She'll be awful bad if we don't go. They're giving double training steps tomorrow. Now, boy, there is nothing to worry about. You fall asleep, then into the operating room and... <coughs> it's hollow. That's what we're afraid of. <laughs> well... Bill and Russell have tried all kinds of excuses to get out of going to the hospital. And I mean all kinds. But listen to this one. You, you better call the doctor right away and tell him that me and Russell have to stay home. <coughs> How come? We're too sick to go to the hospital. <coughs> Pretty bad, huh? Well, their folks thought so, too. And so, after a thousand more phony excuses, Bill and Russell saw the handwriting on the wall. Or should that be the handwriting on the will? <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I asked you all here tonight. Yeah, man. What's all this Albert Hitchcock jazz? Huh? Huh? Me and Bill are gonna hit to read your last will at Tittabit. That ain't tenement, that's testament. Will? Testament? For who? For me and Bill. All we can tell you now is that me and Russell are headed for the great junkyard in the sky. You mean you're going on a plane ride? We don't want to talk about it. Okay, Russell, bring in our worldly wealth. To mush mouth, we leave our fake glasses with the nose and the mustache attached. <laughs> to Bucky, we leave a hunk of dirt that Willie Mays knock out of his spikes. Hey, what do I get, huh? What do I get? <laughs> to Dum Dum, we give our souvenir pennant from Hammond, Indiana and a hunk of melted metal. I say! My turn. What did I get, huh? What did I get? <laughs> to Harold, we give our genuine secret compass magnifying glass decoder ring that glows in the dark and a football air valve. Heavy. My turn. What do I get? To Rudy, we give our combination glass cutter, olive pitter, staple puller, ashtray, the Russell made in metal shop. <laughs> to Fat Albert, we give our kazoo with a propeller on it and our collection of brown hornet comic books. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know what to say. What else you got in here? Huh. Cheap skates. Hey, hey, hey. I still don't know why you're giving all this stuff away. Me and Russell won't be needing it anymore. You see, we're going to the hospital. Hospital? They're gonna operate. Operate? Major surgery. Uh, what's your chances of pulling through? Well, what's wrong with you? T t tonsils. Tonsils? Hey, hey, hey. That's no worse than getting a haircut. Uh, tonsils, big, big deal. deal. Tonsils, not oh, nothing. Oh, man, what is this? My little baby sister, she, she had her tonsils out twice. <laughs> you mean, it ain't that bad? I'm a ubiquibiding. You mean we gonna live? I'm afraid so. You hear that, Russell? We're gonna live, man. Just that luck. And you had to give me all our good junk. <laughs> Hey, you cats, give us our good junk back. Oh, no, 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 no,
my ass straight. No, sir. No, sir. Uh-uh. Come down, fat Albert. You ain't give me my good junk, man. Yeah, I see my body color in my ass. It's time for you boys to go to the hospital now. Come on, you two. You think the world was coming to an end. That's right, boys. There's no reason to look so glum. It'll all be over before you know it. Then you'll have all that ice cream. Ice cream? Sure, you always get lots of ice cream when you have your tonsils out. Ah, oh, you can eat. Can we have my favorite flavor, maple tappy alpha fudge frappy? Huh? <laughs> I want a vast jelly bean ripple sherbet with a mascarino cherry on top. Yeah, you can have any flavor you want. Now, go down to your uncle's car. We'll be right out after you. Yeah, we're going to the hospital, man. Wow, I can hardly wait to get there. Yeah, good old hospital. Hey, hey, hey. What gives? We thought you dudes was going to the hospital. Yeah, what's the scoop? Scoop? I tell you what's the scoop. All the ice cream we can eat. Uh, Humble? They're gonna give us all the ice cream we want at the hospital. Gallons of it. And you know what? You ain't gonna get any of it. And you know why? Because you were mean to us and took all our good jobs. Come on, you two. Let's go. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream, bye scream, bye scream, you scream, we all scream, bye <laughs> Dr. Minson, call for Dr. Minson. Call for Dr. Janville. Dr. Janville. Central Children's Hospital. Oh, yes, Mrs. Cosby. Your boys are out of surgery and both are fine. Hey, hey, hey. They're both okay. Yes, you can see them anytime. Goodbye. Which room for Bill and Russell Cosby? That's room 503. Thanks. Just a moment, boys. You can't go up without an adult. Huh? Hospital rules. How do you like that? Demo rules! Some hospital! No class. <laughs> How ba we ba gomba Bring the boys ba back ba There ba box of good ba junk ba If ba day ba won't ba let ba us in ba And what's more important, how are we gonna get any of that good old ice cream? Wait a minute. The old wheels are turning. Now, we need an adult, right? Call for Dr. Frick. Call for Dr. Frack. Dr. Frack. Amb, amb, nurse, b I b am b an adult. B and b these b boys are with b me. We're b going down to see b the Cosby lads. B this b way, b boys. B Not bad, except my neck itches. Why don't you scratch it? I can't. It itches on the inside. It'll feel a whole lot better, man, when that ice cream comes that they promise us. <laughs>
Who wants a Sunday? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Pretty soft. Boy, but you be too begotten maybe. Man, sitting around playing with your good junk, eating ice cream all day. I'd give a million bucks to trade places with you cats. Well, well. I see the Holloway Hot Rodders are still with us. Hey, what it is, Doc? Hey, what's happening, hey, Doc? How you doing, babe? When are you going to let the gold brickers go home? Oh, it won't be long now. I, I sure wish I, I had tonsils and I could live it up like those dudes. You can say that again. Hmm. By the way, have you boys had your throats checked lately? Huh? What? Uh-oh. Who? Uh-oh. Oh, my mind's gone. It's, I can't stay. Yeah, we're supposed to be out of here. Goodbye. Bye. Why don't you just let me have a quick look to be sure? Uh, no, that, my mother's calling us. We can't stay, man. We gotta go, man. Take this book, man. Come on. Let's go. Time to eat. Yeah, come on. Well, Russell and Bill learned about courage. They were inspired to see how brave the gang was about someone else's pain. And of course, having their tonsils out did hurt. But Bill and Russell will be over it soon. And I... Ooh, don't shove! Hey, I was here first! Don't shove! Hey! I was here first! I was! I want chocolate! Oh, man, I want ice! I hey, chocolate! Man, this ain't me anything! I was, any hey. was good, but I like chocolate good. It's my favorite. Uh, uh, I, <clears throat> my throat feels a little dry. I better get in line. I'll see ya. <laughs> If you think of hospitals and you think of pain You probably think that all they want are pictures of your brain You might think the needles that they use are ten feet long And you know what? You're wrong! Don't be scared of the hospitals Don't be Get ice cream. Ice cream. Don't be afraid of going to the hospital, cause that's silly. Don't be afraid of losing your tonsils, that's silly. The doctor is your friend, and you know, in the end, he's going to make you feel.
coming at you with music and fun and if you're not careful you may learn something before it's done so let's get ready okay hey 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 I borrowed my car this morning. You know, I don't mind lending people things, but this dude's starting to push his luck, I'm telling you. I mean, first he borrows my records, then my golf clubs, and now he's got my car. Hey, well, what do you know? Here he comes with my car right now. wants to borrow cab fare home. <laughs> hey, it's old Weird Harold. Let's see what the kid's up to. Hey, hey, hey. Who's your friend, Albert? This is my cousin, Benny. He's staying with me for a few days. Hey, what's yeah, happening, Benny? What's Benny? going on, bro? Man, yeah, come on. Glad to meet you, fellas. Say, man, could I have a little taste of your ice cream? Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. You know what? I think I'm gonna like you, dude. In fact, if I had a dime, I'd buy a big ice cream and give you all a bite. Albert, you got a dime? Oh, yeah. Sure, Benny. You all get ready to wrap your old lips around some ice cream, cause Benny will be back in a minute. Hey, your cousin's really cool, Albert. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. Except that's the third dime I loaned him today, and now I'm broke. Don't worry, Albert. As soon as we start shining shoes, we all gonna be rich. Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, yeah. Billy, what happened, man? Just as I was about to buy some ice cream for you guys, this big dude, about nine foot six, walked up and grabbed my dime. I told him that dime was for my buddies, but he just knocked me down and laughed. Wow! You think he's still around here? Nah, we've seen the last of him. And I've seen the last of my dime. I'll make it up to you, Albert. I'll pay you back out of my shoe shine money. Any minute now, we, we start getting rich. You think we'll get rich in time to go to the movies this afternoon? Of course we will. Say, how? can I borrow your brown polish a minute? Sure, Benny. How about a shine, son? Yes, sir. Quick, Benny, give me the polish bag. I got some brown shoes here. Brown shoes? Step right up, sir. <laughs> I got plenty of brown polish to slap on him. <laughs> yeah, sir. Quick, Bill, lend me a brush. <laughs> There you go, mister. Hey, Albert, your cousin just stole my first customer. Come on, Hal. He didn't do it on purpose, did you, Benny? Heck no. Besides, there's plenty more customers around. Here comes one now. Shine, mister. How about shine? Shoe shine? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, son? My mama said that if I didn't make some money shining shoes today, I couldn't come home no more. I never heard Benny's mama say that. In that case, I'll take a shine. In fact, do a good job, and I'll pay you double. Yes, sir. Hey, Leo, come on over here and let this little dude shine your shoes. He needs the business. And look at that Benny getting rich with my polish. Yeah, and my brush. And my shine rag. 
Don't go away, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh, brother. 85, 90, 95, one dollar, a dollar five, a dollar ten. Hey, Benny, that was a pretty cheap trick you pulled, man, stealing all our customers. Come on, fellas, relax. This money's gonna pay our way into the movie. You mean you're gonna share it with us? Sure. What kind of a friend you think I am? Didn't answer that till after the movie. See, I told you Benny was cool. Yeah, man, let's go to the movies. I'll get the tickets. You guys wait here. Okay, Benny. Man, ain't Humphrey Go-Kart the coolest dude you ever saw? All right, Louie. How's about me and you taking a little ride down the river so you can go for a stroll in your new cement shoes? Hey, hey, hey. Here's my man Benny with the tickets. Well, I'm afraid I, I had a hole in my pocket and lost all my money. Just had enough left to get myself a ticket. Oh, no, I want to see the oh, yeah, I want to see him, too. Oh, oh man, let's go. Me, too. Come on, now. Yeah, no problem. All you got to do is sneak in through the back door. I'll save you some seats. Uh, I don't know about that, Benny. Listen, you want to see the movie, don't you? Yeah. Well, I guarantee it'll work. <laughs> Benny, where are you, man? Cynthia, oh. darling, what's wrong? Oh, no. I can't stand this loud stuff. I hate you, I hate you. You know, you're really very beautiful when you're angry. But when she's happy, ooh, talk about ugly. Darling, say that you love me. I must hear those words. Oh, Eric, I do love you. Kiss me, you fool. Man, you'd have to be a fool to kiss her. <laughs> All right, now comes the good part, huh, Albert? Albert? Hey, where's that Albert? <laughs> hey, swore that Albert was behind me when we snuck in. Shh, I'm trying to watch this movie. Albert, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Sit down, man. You're missing the coolest part. Let me see your ticket stubs. Here's mine. Okay, but what about the rest of you? We lost ours, sir. Just what I thought. You snuck in here with your fat friend. All right, let's go. Don't worry, guy. I'll let you know how it is. Boy, that will never do it. Huffy Bogart escaped from the big... Big house. Yeah, and it's all Benny's fault. Wait a minute. Benny didn't mean to lose the ticket money. If he lost it. What do you mean? If, Cosby. You calling my cousin a liar, man? I'm calling him a convenient loser. Hi, guys. What's the matter? We didn't get to see the movies. That's what's the matter. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to you, Benny. Listen. You dudes didn't miss a thing. Those movies were drag. Is that why you sat through them twice? You think I did that because I wanted to? I did it for you guys, so I could remember all the scenes and tell you about them. Yeah, all you ought to be shaming yourselves. Anyway, we can have a lot more fun playing cops and robbers than watching them in some old movie. That's a cool idea, Benny. Yeah, we, we can use those old coats and hats we, we wore at Halloween. How about lending yours, Albert? Yeah, sure, Benny. I'll go home and borrow some of my dad's clothes. Hey, Albert, are you sure your cousin's name isn't Begging Benny? Shoot out the tires. 
That chopper's going for our tires, Lefty. Give him the slip. Right, boss. Hang on. on the roof. Thinks he's pulling a fast one. I'll sneak up there behind him and get him with this box of dynamite, boss. Good thinking, Lefty. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom what? You missed. I didn't miss, man. I just blew you up. You still missed. I couldn't miss, man. I used 200 tons of dynamite. Yeah, but I wasn't sitting where the dynamite went off. That was a dummy of me. Oh, man, you're really a turkey. I ain't no turkey. Ha! Not only that, man, but I don't want to play with you no more. Now, what you think about that? What was wrong, but Albert? My dad gave me a spanking because I got his new hat and coat muddy. If Peg and Benny hadn't borrowed your clothes, man, you would have got in no trouble. Yeah, it was all Benny's fault, as usual. Hey, what do you guys have against Benny? All day long, he's been trying to do you favors. No, that's all right, Albert. I know when I'm not wanted. Here's your hat back. <laughs> You said you lost the money, Benny. Looks like that hole in Benny's pocket led right to his hat. Benny, you are really uncool. I thought we were your friends. You are, man. I was saving this money to buy you all double-deck ice cream cones. What flavor do you want? We ain't hungry. I could make those cones triple-deckers. <laughs> Forget you, dudes. I don't need you anyway. I don't need nobody. Half of the fun of being friends is sharing things, and that's something Benny just doesn't understand. <laughs> I mean, he's sort of like this gum machine here. You know, you put the money in, and the money's in, but still, it's all take and no give. But I really feel sorry for the little dude, because he really wants to be one of the guys. It's just that he's going about it all the wrong way. Hey, maybe I can help him out. Calling Fat Albert. Calling Fat Albert. This is Fat Albert. Go ahead, man. Yeah, hey, listen, it's me. I was just thinking, Albert, I'll bet your cousin Benny could really use a friend right now. He already used all his friends around here. Well, he's really not such a bad guy, you know? He just needs somebody to set a good example for him. Like his older cousin, you dig, Albert? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you're right. I'll give it a try. That away, Albert. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hey, hey, Benny. Friends again, man? Forget it, Albert. I'm gonna make me some new friends. Hey, man, let me have a lick of that ice cream. No, man, buy your own. Okay, but just one lick. Sure, man, sure. <laughs> I like you, man. I think we're going to be good friends. We are? Sure, and since we're your best buddies, how about you lending us some money to buy ice cream? Gee, I don't know. Man, all I have left is a nickel. <laughs> Whoop. Drop something, friend. This is a cool lid, friend. Mind if I borrow it for a couple of years? But I... I knew you'd understand, man. That's what friends are for. 
<laughs> What's up, Benny? Besides you. Real funny, Al. Get me down. How'd you get up there? Man, you just missed it. First the stuffed dude asked me for a lick of my ice cream and ate the whole thing. You mean just like you did, Russell, this morning? Yeah. Then they just up and took all my money. You mean the money you made with our shoe shine stuff? Yeah, and not only that, but they took my favorite hat. Boy, I sure am gonna miss that hat. Just like you made us miss our favorite star, Humphrey Gokart? Yeah, I think I see what you're getting at. Guess I'm not much different from those guys, huh? You might say that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, can we play? You can play, Albert, but forget Benny. It's no use, Albert. Those guys just don't like me. It's not you they don't like, man. It's some of the things you do, and that's something you can change whenever you want to. Now, come on. We're sure glad to see you, Albert. Those guys got us outnumbered. Step aside, boys. I'll take care of those dudes. I got you, Benny. Me too. That goes double for me. No, you didn't. This is only a mirror reflection of me. I'm really over there behind you, and I've got the drop on you, and... and Benny? And... and you got me. Uh, well, it looks like Benny's headed in the right direction now. Of course, he isn't going to change overnight now. But he's trying, and that's the important. Excuse me. Hello? <laughs> this must be the only tin can telephone in the world with a party line. Give a listen.
is Bill Cosby coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! Sports page is full of stories about sports heroes. When I was a kid, my big dream was to be a star athlete like Jackie Robinson, just play and steal the bases. Well, as you can see, I mean, I'm in pretty good shape, but not really that good. Of course, we all can't be heroes because someone has to sit on the curb and clap as the parade goes by. <laughs> Grandpa sure plays a lot of heavy sitar. You mean guitar? Sitar. Oh, Grandpa, he wouldn't fool around with no ordinary guitar. <laughs> Man, isn't it the living in? I wish it was. I think it sounds crummy. <laughs> Man, you asking for stitches? Grandpa, I hear you, and you had it. <laughs> I think I'll play me some pocket billiards. Here we are, Scrap Iron. What you want, Scrap Iron? You name it, man. Take this here sitar back over to the pawn shop and get me my favorite billiard playing stick. Let me have it. Give it here. I'm going to do it. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> Watch where you're going, kid. Hey, Scrap Iron, show these dudes how you can turn yourself with one hand, man. Yeah, hey, you the greatest, Scrap. Yeah, light yeah, 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 up. You really the greatest. Yeah, 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 right on. I told you to watch where you're going, kid. You can't have your cue stick back. Duke says there's still 50 cents due. Well, just don't stand here. Give this man his money. But I... This is no time to be cheap. Hey, be maybe. You be heard but what be scrap a guy and be seven. Go on, but give it Duke and him his money, but... <laughs> Man, that Rudy, he's like French bread. Plenty of dough, but even more crust. <laughs> About time. Mm-mm. <laughs> Take that form. That scrap iron has class. Huh? What? Huh? Lay some bread on me, man. You can't play no pocket billiards for nothing. Hey, hey, hey. Hear what the man say? I'll pass the hat. <laughs> Come on. Give. Oh, but I forgot, but it was this Bobbix, I'm a gummy droppers. With a false bottom. Come on, Hal. Bottoms up. You what I call a real soul, brother Harold. <laughs> What's holding up the table fees? Hustle! Russell, scrap iron can't use no half lick candy wafer. Here you go, scrap iron. A little light in the loot, aren't we? Hey, Scrap Iron, can't we come in and watch you run the table? Yeah, but 
Let me up and swab it, scrap it, iron, but can't believe we become in, but we be won't be getting in the way, but. You know better than that. Billiard parlors are only for us big guys. Oh, oh man. Oh, God. Oh. N L C. N L C? No, little cats. Don't quote me on this, but I hear tell the alley window is never locked. Alley window? I also hear tell that it's just the right size for eight little cats to sneak through it. Get this dude. Wow. Yeah, man. Robert, a beautiful bouncing Billy Yard Blast. Ooh. Ooh. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What a play. What are your kids doing in my pool hall? Well, uh, uh, Scrap Iron, he said uh, we could. Scrap Iron? He let you in? Talk about falsifying. I never saw those little cats before in my life. <laughs> Scrap Iron showed his metal at the billiard parlor. And his metal was kind of corroded. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your teacher. But of course, Scrap Iron did have his reasons for leaving the kids in a bind. Fat Albert and the gang are now demanding a full explanation. <laughs> You ask him. No, my mouth, you ask him. No, be me, be Bobby. But Bucky better to do it, but... Me? Why me? What's the matter with you guys? Hey, how come you told that billiard party man you never saw us before? <laughs> You asking me how come? Yeah, how come? Oh, Scrap Iron had his reasons. Didn't you, Scrap Iron? I had my reasons. He had his reasons? Yeah, yeah, Scrap Iron. He had his reasons, you betcha. Yeah, but yeah, but Scrap Iron. He be having his reasons, you betcha. He did it for our own good. Didn't you, Scrap Iron? I did it for your own good. Scrap Iron wanted to keep us from getting into trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? What kind of trouble? Billiard Paul trouble, that's what. Billiard Paul trouble, that's what. Scrap Iron, those little kids ain't supposed to hang around no billiard Paul. Uh-huh. Yeah, no telling what kind of mess we could have got ourselves into. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's against the state billiard parlor law. Right on, brother. If Scrap Iron said he knew us, he had to be witness for the persecution. Tell it like it is. Boy, when the Scrap Iron back you up, he be back you up from the bottom up, man. The only way. Gee, thanks, Scrap Iron. Yeah, you're yeah, a real, you're cool, real cool, cool dude, Scrap, dude, scrap yeah, Iron. Yeah, you're pretty cool. Well, yeah, man, you too. Man, oh, scrap Iron is good. the greatest. <laughs> No class. Okay, Russell. Now, what did I tell you? I'm not supposed to make no waves. Uh -huh. I'm not supposed to say nothing. Uh -huh. I'm not supposed to make no faces. Uh -huh. I'm not supposed to make no raspberry noises. Uh -huh. I'm not supposed to do nothing to upset. That big, phony scrapper. No. Elbows away. Bobby, scrap the iron, but show me gonna like this. Mmm, I can see my face in reflection just like a mirror. That ain't your face. That's the trademark. Attention. Better shape up or ship out.
scrap iron is king of the wheels. You mean the king of the hills. Shut up, elevator operator. Why do you call me elevator operator? Because you're always running people down. Hey, give me a ride, scrap iron. Hey, How about me? Ride. Me first. No, ride. me, I'm man. Come on, me. man. Come on. Get you know, he's, he said I can go first. I'm going first. I'll give you a ride. C and C. C and C? Cash and carry. The more cash I got, the more I'll carry. I got three cents. I got a nickel. I got seven cents. I got a dime. I got a dime. I got seven cents. I got a nickel. Well, you. I have fifteen. Fifteen. I got fifteen. I buy an IOU. I give fifteen. Like the gold ring. Somebody lend me a nickel. Somebody lend me a nickel. I'll cool it. Cool it. The winners are Fat Albert. Bill and Harold. Hey, 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 let's be on our way. What you dudes waiting for? Get on. I ain't making but one trip. But, but forecasts on two wheels, man, that's dangerous, ain't it? What are you, chicken? But of course, if you don't want to ride, just remember, no refunds. Well, okay. Mm. Hey, get your foot out of my pocket. Oh. <laughs> Hang on tight. This is one ride you'll never forget. You better believe it. kids ran off with your bike? That's what I said. But officer, we didn't. We did not. We're clean. Ain't it pitiful to see these little dudes trying to lie their way out of this mess? Hey, scrap on, what you trying to pull? Why are you trying to put the blame on us? Tell a policeman what really happened, man. We had to pay him to give us a ride. We never took his old bike. He's trying to put the blame on us. Hold it, hold it. Now you say this is your bike. Check. And these kids took it. Check. You want to press charges? Double check. Okay, now. I'll do a little check of my own here. Hmm. Where's your license plate? Huh? Lice. License. Oh, those dudes must have knocked it off when they rode off. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Where's your registration? Registration? I'm too young to vote. I mean your vehicle registration. Uh, oh, uh, vehicle. Uh, it must have blew out of my pocket when I was chasing them. Uh, yeah, that's it. Boy, I but don't believe what's happening. But... All right. Hmm. Let me see your operator's license. Oh, yeah, I uh, got that right here. Here you go. This is just a learner's permit, and it expired six months ago. I know, uh, my new uh, license is coming, but my mailman's uh, been out sick. <laughs> Uh-huh. Would you excuse me a moment? I'd like to check this out on the radio. Uh-oh. Now you're gonna get a scrap iron. Hey, hey, hey. The law is on its way. Headquarters, <laughs> wanna check on a learner's permit issued to Scrap Iron Yates. Out of my way, dudes. I'm splitting. Oh! 
Scrap by and show put his foot in it. Yeah, up to the neck. <laughs> well, you can say one thing about the gang's hero. He doesn't have feet of clay, but he does have a face full of cement. And it's not easy to take when somebody you look up to keeps putting you down. The kids have learned you got to be careful who you put on a pedestal, what comes up might come down right on you. Now, the gang has a song that'll tell you a little more about that. Give a listen. You follow him all over town And you don't know where you're bound Behind your back, he puts you down coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey!
Look at this. This is for me. <laughs> to Bill Cosby from Otis. I don't know any Otis. He's probably just one of my many fans. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Boy, oh boy. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you one thing, man. Otis is not very cool. And neither are any of his practical jokes. But I have a feeling we're going to be hearing a lot more from him. <laughs> Anybody see that monster movie last night, man? You mean Tarantula Man meets the Spider Lady? Yeah, man. That show is some scary flick. Yeah, especially the part where the Spider Lady gets caught in the giant spider web and that big, hairy Tarantula Man comes crawling toward her. I'm getting scared. Just think about it. Cool it, Russell. It was only a mo. No! <laughs> what happened, Albert? You see a ghost? Worse than that, a big hairy spider tried to attack me, man, just like in the movie. Hi. Hi, who are you? My name's Otis. I just moved in yesterday. <laughs> this spider's made out of rubber. How about that? I was scared of a rubber spider. <laughs> I don't think it's so funny, man. <laughs> Come on, Albert. You can't take a joke. Yeah, Albert. You gotta admit it was pretty funny the way you sat in that can. <laughs> Otis, you're really cool, man. How'd you like to join our club? Yeah. We could use a few laughs around here. Sure, I really dig that. You're president, Albert. How about it? Well, I don't know. Oh, come on, Albert. Yeah, come on, Albert. Listen, Albert, you but supposed but to do it. the bunny of do but around. But. Well, I guess it'll be okay. Then it's official. Thanks, Albert. No hard feelings. <laughs> 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 Hey, Albert, wake up, man. It's us, Albert, over here. Come on, man. We got to go initiate Otis into our club. This is it, Otis. Scary, ain't it? Yeah, well, what do I have to do? Take this flashlight and go inside. Inside? And when you get to the attic, flash the light three times up in the window so we we'll know you're up there. Okay. I'm ready. See you later, Otis. I hope. <laughs> Yay for Otis! I love Otis! I love Otis! Get on, bro. I love Otis! Okay, Otis. You can come out now. Maybe he didn't hear you, Rudy. Otis! I bet the ghost got him. Ghost? Russell, let me explain something to you. There's no such thing as... I don't know, but somebody better go find out. What do you mean, somebody? You're the president. Isn't it about time to elect a new president? I mean, I've been president ever since we formed this club, and I don't want to be selfish about it, so a room. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going.
I got to hand it to old Fat Albert for going in that house, man. It takes a lot of spirit. And speaking of spirits... I sure hope the ghost doesn't get Albert. How many times have I got to tell you, Russell? There's no such thing as ghosts. Then what's that? <laughs> Ibbits Obitus. Oh, wow, man. When Albert gets a load of him and that sheep, look out. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Oh, Albert gonna run out of there so fast his stomach will never catch up. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> I never see anybody run so fast in my life. <laughs> you should have seen yourself, man. Your feet never touched the ground once. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Albert, you're beautiful. As long as you're around, we can always count in the laugh. I tell you something else you can count. Count me out of this club. Wait, Albert, we were just having a little fun. Let him go. If he can't take a joke, the club doesn't need him. <laughs> hey, Albert, why don't you come on along, man? Where you going? Gonna introduce Otis to all our friends. Right, Otis? Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of laughs. Only thing you do is gonna have a lot of trouble. Hi, fellas. Oh, boy. Watch this, Albert. Hi, Violet. I like you to meet Otis, our new club member. How do you do? Hi. Say, do you know what's purple and green and has 2,000 legs and one big eye right in the middle of its forehead? No. What? Don't ask me, but it's crawling up your back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. You know it. You know it, man. <laughs> Relax, Violet. They're just jiving you. See what I told you, Albert? That Otis is the most, man. Yeah, the most obnoxious dude I ever met. I don't think you're a bit funny. Ah, you're as bad as your fat friend Albert. Come on, you guys, let's go. You sure pull off some cool jokes, Otis. Yeah, man, they really are cool. You haven't seen nothing yet. See those dudes over there? Yeah. Well, watch this. Wow! Man, this is really cool. What you got there, man? This? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Let me take a look. Hey, we hey, you I'm next. Get on next after hey, me. I'm next. Relax. There's enough to go around. Here. Hey, <laughs> I don't see nothing in here. Me neither. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of joke? Yeah, you said it, man. Yeah, you man, said you, you said it. Boy, it <laughs> yeah, oh, you doing pretty bad, that was man. Funny. <laughs> yeah, the joke's on you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the joke's on you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think you're pretty funny, don't you? Well, we'll see if you can laugh your way through a fight. Fight? Be at the junkyard in two hours. With your dukes up. Uh-oh! We really in for it now! Those guys are tough! Don't sweat it. We'll get your fat Albert friend to take care of him for us. Then, the fearless brown hornet and his faithful companion, Leroy, leave their mansion through a secret passageway that leads them to an underground cave. There, in the dim lights of the cave, sits the white beauty, the brown hornet's car. Leroy starts it up. Hey, Albert. Oh, hi, fellas. Say, Albert, we need your help, man. Yeah? What for? Otis played a real funny practical joke on some dudes, but they got mad and challenged us to a fight. Doesn't sound like Otis's practical jokes are so practical. Ah, these cats just don't have a sense of humor. So how about it? Will you help us out? Well, why should I help? You're our friend, aren't you? Sure, but Otis got you all into this mess, so let's see if he can get you out. 
<laughs> Forget it, guys. We don't need old Al, but anyway. This book on karate will teach us all we need to know. Yeah, let's go practice. I don't think even the Baron Horner could get him out of this one. <laughs> Oh, Bucky, just remember to jump up in the air and give a big karate yell when you whack the board. Right. <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> Watch me, Bucky, and you'll see how an expert does it. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I was an expert. I smashed four boards with one blow. If that's how an expert does it, I sure hate to see an amateur. This ain't working too cool. Maybe we ought to try a little uh, muscle building. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. That's cool, Bill. Lead with your right. Now you're left. Dig this footwork, man. Those dudes are in for some big trouble. This ain't working either. Let's try some road work. Attaway, lift those knees high. If this doesn't whip you dudes into shape, nothing will. Okay, now let's run backwards like those pros do. How are we supposed to see where we're going? Let me worry about that, man. Okay, dudes, single file. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, we're we're here. What happened to you guys? I don't know. Otis was supposed to be watching where we're going and... <laughs> Man, that was the funniest joke I pulled all day. You guys sure do look silly sitting in that tub. <laughs> yeah, you're a real barrel last, Otis. Let's go, fellas. Hey, where are you guys going? Those tough dudes are gonna be here any minute. Now, it's our turn to play a joke, man. And this time, the joke's on you. Hi, guys. Come on, Bill, Harold, this ain't funny. These dudes are laughing too hard to do any fighting. They're leaving anyways. Boy, Otis, you sure do look funny. Uh, I don't feel so funny. I can't believe it. Is this the same Otis who's been practical joking all morning? Sure looks like the same dude. Yeah, well, I'm all joked out, so cool it. You guys want to see my new brown horned comic book? Sure, Albert. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, sure, Albert, that's cool. Yeah, man. Hey, I've been wanting to be a day bit. White Beauty, the brown harness car tears through the night in pursuit of the big sedan ahead of them. Leroy, the brown harness faithful companion, is at the wheel. When suddenly the brakes go out. Wait, Albert, don't turn the page yet. I want to read something. Look at this ad. Surprise your friends. When they sniff this trick flower, they'll get a face full of water. A million laughs for only one dollar. Hey, what do you say we all chip in and... Uh... Looks like it may take a while longer for Otis to get the message. But I think sooner or later, he'll come around. What is this? Look at this. Uh-huh. See? 
I'm on to Otis, though. He's not gonna trick me twice. I better deactivate it first. <laughs> and now, just to make doubly sure it's safe. <laughs> now, that Otis must really think I'm dumb. I wonder what he's trying to pull this time. Dear Bill, you've been looking a little thin lately, so I packed you this lunch. Love, Mom. It's not funny to make someone trip. They could fall down and bust their lip. You'll lose friends now if you don't get hip It's not funny if someone gets hurt If you go and get someone soaked And you ruin their brand new coat Do you dare to call that a joke? It's not funny when someone is hurt A joke Is it a joke? If you hurt someone A joke Is it a joke If somebody's sorry When you're done What if someone Put salt in your tea Or put a rug out from under your feet Would you still think That it was neat I don't think so A joke Is it a joke If you hurt someone A joke Is it a joke If somebody's sorry When you're done I said a joke is it a joke if you hurt someone? A joke. Is it a joke if somebody's sorry when you're done? A joke. Is it a joke? <laughs> coming at you with music and fun and if you're not careful you may learn something before it's done so let's get ready okay hey 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 Are watching you. <laughs> I was just having a little fun. 
with different kinds of glasses, like sunglasses here, you see? And uh, father glasses, because they're so big, you know. Glasses can be fun. Now, I'm not making fun of people who wear glasses now. I wear glasses myself sometimes, and uh, it's no problem. Oh, my goodness. So if you need glasses, you shouldn't feel funny about wearing them. Trouble is, a lot of kids don't see it that way, like Fat Albert's pal, Haywood. Hey, Fat Albert, hit me a fly. Hey, 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 thumbs away. <laughs> Woo! What a shot. Of Willie Mays. I couldn't have done it better myself. Man, that was a good catch. Albert! Albert! I'm Bill. You did it to me again, didn't you, Haywood? <laughs> oh, Bill! <laughs> yeah, Bill. Pretty funny, huh? Hey, 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 Haywood. Come on and play ball with us. Yeah, be hey, be booby. The funniest ball but player in baby the world. Booster. Better than that. He's the funniest dude in the whole school. Come on, man. I can't play. I don't have no gloves. Come on, get my extra glove. It's in the clubhouse. Cool. <laughs> How'd you learn to be so funny, Haywood? How'd you be so funny, hey? Well, hey, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. You should be on TV, man. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd like that one. <laughs> hey, hey, well, you and me are gonna choose up sides. Ready? Ready? Catch. Okay, what you waiting for? Throw it! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Fireball, burn one down the old groove here. Let's see your stuff. Come on, quit stalling out there. What's the hang-up? You clown. <laughs> hey, 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 what? You are one funny dude. Come on, throw the ball. One swing and I'm going to clean the bases. I can believe it with that broom in your hand. <laughs> broom? Oh, yeah, broom. <laughs> Thanks, Bucky. I wrestle. Hey, 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 time to play. Strike one. Nice going, Shirt Tail. Why you call me Shirt Tail? Cause you just wave in the breeze. <laughs> Busted the back with a snow shovel. Oh, yeah? Listen! <laughs> it's a hit! Run, Hayward! <laughs> Come on, run! Run, 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 run! Sir, I didn't see you. You didn't see an old man with his big old junk wagon? Here! What am I supposed to do with these? Cut off the bottoms and make eye glasses out of them.
doesn't take 2020 vision to see that Haywood needs glasses. He's getting a lot of laughs, but he's paying a heavy price for his popularity. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. On the 18th of April in 75, hardly a man is now alive. Who remembers that famous day and year? Thank you, Albert. That was very good. Now, Hayward, will you continue reading, please? Oh, man, it's gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can mess up a poem like Haywood. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed, Haywood. He said to his fiend, uh, uh, no, uh, a friend, if the fresh man lands on the sea. <laughs> no, no, Haywood. It goes, if the British march by land or sea, continue. Oh, yeah? Hang a ladder along the bullfrog's arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch. <clears throat> now go on. Yes, ma'am. One is by lard and two is by tea. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. That's one if by land, two if by sea. <clears throat> and I and the posse will shoot three. <laughs> <laughs> the verse reads, and I on the opposite shore will be. Uh-oh. Betty, you take charge of the class. Yes, Miss Barry. Haywood and I have some serious business in the principal's office. someone we want you to see. All right, Hayward. Cover one eye and read the first line. Huh? There's no writing on here. No, <laughs> cover your eye with a cardboard and read the first line of the chart on the wall. Oh, yeah? The first line. Okay. <clears throat> H-R-L-C-X-D-J-Q. There, how was that? Well, you missed it by one letter. <laughs> Say, would tell me, how many fingers am I holding up? Two on one hand and six on the other. <laughs> hey, would you're gonna have to be fitted for glasses. No, no, no glasses for me, no, sir, forget it. Look, Haywood, some of our greatest athletes and movie stars wear glasses. Oh, no. If I wear glasses, everybody will laugh at me. I understand. They've been laughing at you for a long time. Okay, Doctor. I'll wear glasses, but, but nobody's gonna lock me anymore. Hey, hey, hey. What a draggy day. Sure wish Haywood was here. He's a lot of fun. Yeah. Haven't seen Haywood for a couple of days now. Haybe. There's Haybe Wubby now. <laughs> hey, where be you be been, be man? Be? <laughs> hey, 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 don't run away. Let's go get him, man. He's playing hide and seek. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Let's go. Can't get away from us. We're gonna get you. Better give up, Haywood. Yeah, yeah Haywood. We're gonna yeah. get it on you. Yeah, we're yeah, coming, Haywood. Look out, 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 Haywood. Look out,
going that way. And Pearl Nate, the people will waken and listen to hear the hurrowing hoofbeats of the steed and the midnight message of Paul Revere. Very good, Haywood. That will be all for today. Class dismissed. Haywood, may I see you for a moment, please? Haywood, may I see you for a moment, please? Man. He surely turned into a square lately. Yeah, but he sure can't read up a storm now with his new glasses on. And all that time, man, we thought he was goofing up in class on purpose, huh? He just couldn't see good. Yeah, he used to read funny. Now he just looks funny. Hey, Gav, wait, wait up. Hey, you cats gonna play ball today? Yeah, why don't you? You can't play. Huh? We're not just practicing today, Haywood. You heard what the man said. We got a big game with the Riverfront Blockbusters. And we ain't got no time to mess around with no rookie amateurs. Boy, but we be better be but it, but we be going to be but late, but. We gonna beat them good today. I know we gonna yeah, stop yeah, them, man. Yeah, we hey, 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 let's get the game underway. We can't start yet. A right fielder hasn't shown up. If you don't start right now, you lose, and we win. Yeah, you four-flush the game. That's forfeit. No <laughs> class. Hey, kid, you want to play right field? Who, me? Who be? Who be? Who, him? Yeah, go on out and play right field. Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> hey, 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 Come on, Fat Albert, let's get it. one good right, now. Go to bed. Oh, yeah. Put your belly in the one, Fat Albert, let's go to bed. I don't believe it. He would never caught a ball in his life. First time for everything. Just wait till old Haywood comes to bat. <laughs> Everybody sit down. Look who's up. Old Broken Shutter. Why you call Haywood Old Broken Shutter? Because all he's going to do is swing in the breeze. <laughs> Pretty sneaky hitting my glove when I wasn't ready. Okay, clown, the honeymoon's over. Hey, 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 it's a home. Figure it out. 
If you can't lick them, join them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Haywood had the last laugh. And what made it even better was that he found out that glasses opened his eyes in a lot of ways. And his glasses opened the gang's eyes, too, as the kids have worked up a song that tells you more about it. Today we're going to learn about international signs. Once you're familiar with these, you'll be able to get around fairly easily in any country. What are we learning this stuff for? We never even go out of town. The main reason I'm showing you these signs is because they're already replacing many of our own. Now, who can tell me what this is? I know what it is. All right, Donald, what is it? That's a diaper. 
My baby sister wears one. <laughs> yeah. No, Donald. This is a triangle. Anytime you see it, it means danger. <laughs> Now, like Miss Bryfogle says, this triangle means danger. Danger. Zut. Zut. Dangerous road intersection. railroad crossing with gates. Now there's a good reason for going to these signs. You don't even have to be able to read to know what to look out for. Fat Albert and the gang don't think this is too important right now, but they're going to have to open their eyes very soon. I saw it. Hey, 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 Rudy. You almost got it that time. That'd be the only thing he ever got. Shut up, Root Beer. Why you call me Root Beer? Because you got foam for a head. <laughs> Rudy, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Ha-ha. <laughs> Looks like someone's been picking on you, Fat Albert. Huh? <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. You shouldn't draw pictures of dudes on the walls. I didn't do it. He's right, Fat Albert. Rudy has trouble writing his own name. As a bona fide art expert, I have received another masterpiece by none other than Cool Roy. Cool Roy? Who's that? Nobody knows, but he's been messing up the walls all over town. <laughs> What's the matter, Albert? Can't take a joke, huh? Mm -hmm. I thought you fat dudes were supposed to laugh all the time. <laughs> That dumb cool Roy better watch it. If I catch that cat, I'll knock him into the middle of next week. I'll fix that cool Roy. I'll write my name across his lip with my fist. Class. Hi, gang. Hey, 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 people. Can't stop to talk now. Gotta take my daddy's hot lunch. Whoever's been to these signs is asking for trouble. Hi, Dad. Got your lunch. Just a minute, Pee Wee. I'll be right down. Mmm, boy, Mom fixed your favorite lunch. Short ribs, short bread, and short cake. <laughs> what you working on today, Dad? Same thing I've been working on all week. Somebody who thinks he's very funny has been twisting the street signs around. You know what I'm doing? I'm giving Fat Albert and the gang the high sign. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'll admit it wasn't a very funny joke. But this joker who's been turning the signs around, he isn't very funny either. And neither is the dude who's been drawing those pictures on the wall. And you know what? I'll bet you it's the same guy. This is the baddest. Hey, Rudy, another one of your pal masterpieces? Cool Roy was here! Man, if I lay my hands on that Roy, I'll cool him. Hey, 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 where are we going? 
gonna play? I don't know, man. We sure can't play in the junkyard. How come? The rain last night floated our goalposts away. Hey, but look. Hey, that means there won't be any traffic. Yeah, let's go. We'll race you to the manhole cover. Hey, I'm kicking off. Hey, man, I'm receiving. I'm quarterback, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. Now, who moved these horses? Lucky we spotted this. We'd never hear the end of it if we tore up the wrong street again. Hey, hey, hey. It's time to play. And I'm the kicker. And I'm the kicky. <laughs> felt again, and the kids could have wound up here in the hospital. But they got more troubles ahead yet, thanks to you-know-who. I wonder who the dude was who blocked off the street. Yeah, that street repairman would like to know that, too. Man, ain't no place in this whole city where a kid can play football. Hey, let's play there. Man, the school line? We can't play on no school line. It's where like, I keep off the grass signs. Oh, yeah? You've been out in the sun too long, kid. What are you talking about? You're seeing mirages. There are no keep off the grass signs on that lawn. Yeah? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Yeah! yeah. Let's go! All right! Yeah, yeah. light right love. Hey, hey, hey. Let's practice the play. Hey, I got a great new play. I saw Joe Namath use it against the Chicago Cowboys. Chicago <laughs> Cowboys? <laughs> well, one of those teams. It might have been the Denver 49ers. Yeah. Double reverse shift, option right, reverse flanker left, quarterback keeper with fake tackle eligible. Signals, 347, 289, 321, 461, 9, on 4, 3, uh, 3. Will you come on? Come on. Okay, team, enough of this stalling. Let's get the show on the road. Center the ball. Is that close enough to the center? You're more fun than a chap lip. Everybody go out for a pass. I got it. It's mine. Let go. Are you really going to get it, man? Hey, I got it. Hey, let go, man. Yeah, man, that's a yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred yard penalty, man. Fumble. Yeah, man. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> mine. I got it. Hey, that's mine, man. Hey, man, let's go, man. Move. Oh, man. Wow. Man. Okay? Of course I'm okay. Get me out of here. Hey, let me help you. Hey, you kids. What you kids doing in this lawn? Can't you read the signs? What sign? They're all over here. Open your eyes. Keep off the grass. Huh? What? what? Where did they come from? Hey, I didn't see that, man. Hey, man, we overlooked that. You've just about wrecked my new lawn. Now beat it. Where those signs come from? Hey, man, I can't figure it. Seems like that was magic, Spooky, man. man. I mean, that's weird. Yeah, way out. <laughs> hey, Dad, time to quit. Man, what a day. Bent signs all over the place. Arrows twisted the wrong way. Ah, oh, gee, Dad, look. Cool Roy was here. Oh, no. I'll bet he's the dude who's been bending all your signs. Hmm, wonder what that says. Can you read it? Yeah. It says, wet paint. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, 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 this time I'm the quarterback. Oh, yeah? Why should you be quarterback? Give us one good reason. Because this is my home field. 
Some home field. <laughs> Be kicked out of every other place. <laughs> you got a better roof, Rudy. Let's go over to your house. We can't play on my roof. The tar ain't dry yet. Oh, yeah? When did they retire? Twelve years ago. Come on, let's play. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> now, listen close, dudes. This is, this is a secret play. Secret from who? We all in the huddle. Shut up. Okay. Now, guys, you take three steps toward the TV antenna, cut by the skylight, and hook around the chimney. Check. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You fan out by the fire escape, and you head straight up toward the air vent. Now, Bucky, you fake round the long underwear to the blue shirt with the patch on it and head straight downfield. Check. Come on, come on. What do I do? You get lost. Okay, everybody. Break. Hike. Oh, oh, earthquake. No, uh, it's a roofquake. Hey, man, I'm open. Throw it. Hey, man, quick. Here I am, man. Throw it. Make a change. Hey, man, right down here. Let's go. That's all for today. And after you finish taking out the trash, you clean up your room, and after that, I'll find something else for you to do, Mr. Rooftop All American. <laughs> <laughs> Explaining to do. I was just funning. I didn't mean no harm in moving those signs. You moving signs? Oh. You gotta believe me. It was all a joke. Yeah, that's it. A, a joke. <laughs> oh, that's the trouble with the world. Nobody laughs anymore. And nobody's ever gonna laugh at the kind of stunts you've been pulling. You got an idea of the trouble you caused? Oh, the shame of it all. <laughs> all I ever wanted to do was to bring a little sunshine into other people's drab lives. <laughs> and what happens? <laughs> well, Roy, you might have been trying to do good, but you sure was messing up. I knew that now. I know it. Oh, well, thank you, Fat Albert, for showing me the light. Well, uh... You're not gonna turn me in, are you? I'm a changed cat. I tell you, changed. I, I promise. I'll never touch another sign as long as I live. Well... And I promise to throw away all my spray cans. And you promise to clean up all the messes you made? Yeah! 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 Well... Word of honor! Okay. Oh, bless you, Fat Albert. You never regret this. <laughs> You can count on me, Fat Albert. I'm a new man. Hey, hey, hey. What you so uptight about, Fat Albert? Look at these messy walls, man. Uh, never mind the walls. Let's start the game. Hi, guys. Can I play? Sure. We can use you as a kicking tee. Ha, 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 ha. Well, he can always hold the ball. Hey, hey, hey. That's a good idea. Our kicking game needs a little polish. Well, we need some goalposts. What can we use? What we always use. We hit Harold. Oh, no. I gotta be a crossbar again? Quit <laughs> griping. We're the ones that gotta carry the load. No. A little to the right. Oh, too much. A little to the left. More. A little more. Will you come on? <laughs> The ball. Don't worry, Fat Albert. I'll get it. I see the ball, but it's way over by the building. I'll get it. I'll get it. Man, that Pee Wee's got to be the best ball getter backer in the business. Hey, you kids, get back away from that fence. What for? Hey, what happened to those danger signs I had all over the place? Keep away from here. We're blasting that building any second. Blasting? Pee Wee. Pee -wee. Pee -wee. Get Pee Wee out of there. Phew. Wow, that was close. Uh, look at me. I, I didn't do 
nothing. I didn't take your old signs. Ask those cats. They'll tell you. I caught this dude prowling around our supply shack. He one of your bunch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man, that's he's Roy okay. Breacher. Yeah, man, he's cool. cool. Well, he's okay, yeah. man. He's with us, you know. No, he's not. Huh? huh? What, what you talking what? about? Fat Albert. To tell him. Uh, I'm the most honest dude there is. Uh, they got nothing on me. <laughs> Yo, it's all off of you. Come on, kid. Let's go. Now, here's a sign that really fits old Cool Roy. End of the road. Things are too hot for Cool Roy right now. And for one thing, he's busy cleaning up the mess he made. <laughs> and for another thing, I don't think he's going to be fooling around with any more signs, because the first time another sign gets out of kilter, guess who they're going to blame? And that incident with Pee Wee taught the gang something about the importance of signs, too. So much so that they made up a song about them. Fellas, hit it. For your safety, they tell you what's going on. And if you pay attention to them, you know you'll never do wrong. When you see a danger sign, you'd better not remain. And when you come to a railroad sign, stop, look, and listen for the train. to do It's there for a reason And it's meant to help you Cosby coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey!
Hey, hey, hey. What a day. Phew, today is the hottest. You know why it's so hot? No, and don't tell me. Bulbs. Bulbs? bulbs. <laughs> yeah, light bulbs. My grandma says people leave the light bulbs out the socket and all that heat comes running out. <laughs> yeah, makes sense to me. Oh, 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 Yes, indeed, there's nothing like a fan on a hot day to keep you cool. And it's even better when the fan is working. Of course, Fat Albert and the gang are complaining because they're hot, but they don't know what real heat is. That's right, and they're going to find out soon, very soon. You just watch. Everybody know what causes heat. Oh, yeah, what? Hotness, that's what. Man, when dumbness was handed out, you went back for seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you must be burning up with that winter coat on. Not so long as I stay near you. Near me? Yeah, you leave me cold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's so funny on a hot day like this? Hey, 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 Parker. What's happening? Hey, what's happening, Parker? All right, what it is, man. Yeah, what's man. happening, man? You know, it's so hot, I just saw a dog chasing a cat, and they were both walking. Man, man, that that Parker sure got him. Yeah, he's man, he sure knows that Parker. Phew, we got to do something about this heat. Don't despair, dudes. When Parker's here, relief is near. <laughs> hey, 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 can't beat this spray. Man. This is the coolest. Yeah. Wow, this is bad. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, Rudy, what'd you call a stroke? The curbstone crawl. <laughs> what Parker tell you dudes? You don't need no old poo when Parker's around. Yeah. yeah. You said it, Parker. You're yeah, okay, yeah, man. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah. Well, Parker's a big hero with Fat Albert and the kids because he opened up the hydrant, but he also opened up a big pack of trouble. Cool water can turn into hot water awful fast. Hey, what's this? Hey, man, what you, what, what, what's, what's happening, man? Oh, man, that's, that's not good. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Kids mm -hmm. can't have no man, fun no man. more. God. Now, you kids, get out of here fast. Gee, officer, we're sorry. We didn't mean no harm. Okay, Riley, let's go. Uh, you fuzz. Why don't you go bust some really bad dudes instead of hassling us? Listen, kid, you watch your... Never mind him, Riley. We gotta set up our stakeout. You kids, get out of this area now. Move! You're violating our civilian rights. Come on, move on. I wish I had a pencil so I could get your badge number. You... Wow, Parker, you sure told the man. You better believe it. You gotta let him know who's boss. I don't think it's a good idea to go mouthing off to the police, man. Fat Albert, he's the biggest chicken turkey I ever seen. <laughs> what you mean, chicken? Uh, uh, what I mean is, uh, I'll show you how to act when you ain't chicken. Oh, Parker's about to go over and check out the fuzz. Hey, 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 don't do it, Parker. Oh, cool it, Fat Albert. Parker knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he knows what's happening, man. Right yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no chicken. You said it. Ta-ta. Hmm. The fuzz is split. Parker, this is your golden opportunity. Ha! Huh. Afraid to face old Parker Fuzzles? Heavy. Woo-wee. Let's get one thing straight right now. No man in blue tells old Parker what to do. What's with that dumb kid? I don't know, but he's gonna blow our cover. Just remember, Parker don't take no guff from no police. Police? Huh? What's this about the police? Hold it right there. Come on, kid, you're coming with me. Halt! Hold your fire! We can't take a chance on hitting the kid. <laughs> Oh, Parker, some smart move you just showed the police. 
Hey, hey, hey. A clean getaway. <laughs>
You just leave it to me. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Right right on. On. Let's, Let's go. go. Right yeah. On, Come on, Russell. Let's go. It's not for us. Oh, um, I gotta go with the fat Albert. Huh? Yeah, I promise, Bob. I keep an eye on my brother, Bill. <laughs> now, I'm gonna get you dudes in there, but you gotta stay out of sight till old Parker gives you the high sign. Sure. Yeah. Sure, Parker. Whatever, whatever you say, say man. Sure, I'll go for that. Yeah. Do 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 do. Uh, uh. Kid, what's wrong with you? Oh, I'm having an attack of peso profundo. Oh, <laughs> quick, get me some water. Oh. Sure, sure, kid, stay, stay right there. No, don't, don't move. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, kid. Hey, hey, kid. Hey, 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 kid. Hey, kid. <laughs> Oh, boy, watch you make the bell ring. <laughs> Only ring you can make is in the bathtub. Let a real man have it. Hey, I rung the bell. Yeah, Rudy rang the strength bell all right, but he almost got his own bell rung. The kids think it's fun now, but they're in a lot of danger, and they don't realize it. And I sure hope to get out of that old condemned amusement park before somebody gets hurt. Let's go in the fun house. Yeah, yeah sure. come on. Sure, let's, sure, go, let's go, man. Let's go, All yeah. Right. <laughs> Boob, I'm a little bit like a fat Albert. Hey, be, hey, be, hey, be. Hey, don't hog the mirrors. <laughs> One. Two, three, three times seven, 21 years of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Gondolier. Get ready to get terrified. Who's scared? I'm not scared. Who's me scared? Me neither. No, nah, man. That was corny. Didn't scare me one bit. Nah. <laughs> All right, everybody in the old roller coaster. Get it, dudes. Good old Parker is gonna shove off and then jump in with you. Yeah, right on, man. Yeah, right you got it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's this roller coaster, Bill. I wanna get off. Oh, sure. It's nothing to be scared of. Well, all right, let me take a look. 
hey, hey, hey. Quick, go get help. The fire department, the police, rescue squad, anybody in uniform. Uniform? Hurry. <laughs> Quick, officers, help. Well, Riley, look who we have here. <laughs> hey, 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 help's on the way. Fat Albert. Sit tight, dudes. Oh. Don't move, gang. Help is on the way. Oh. Can't hang on much longer. Don't let go, Fat Albert. Hang tight, kids. Man, me and Fat Albert sure got you dudes out of a bad scene. You and Fat Albert. Oh, oh. Fat Albert. Fat Albert's the only hero around here. Meatball. Huh? If it weren't for you, old Parker, we wouldn't have got messed up in the first place. Yeah, you, you, you're bad news, Parker. You can say that again. Baby news. Yeah. Wait a minute. Parker didn't force any of you to break into his pier. Yeah. But what about all that other stuff he did? Like tricking you into turning in the false alarm? Yeah, and turning on the fire hydrant. And messing up the police stakeout. But, but I... Well, old Parker, it looks like you've been a busy little bee. Honest, officers. Sir, I didn't do nothing. Honest. Maybe you can convince us about that downtown, huh? But, officers, sir, I didn't mean nothing. Honest. Well, it looks like Parker is finally beginning to respect the dudes in uniform. For his sake, let's hope he shapes up. And for the kids, we've had a chance to see how bad leadership can't make it without bad fellowship. The kids are going to think twice, well, maybe at least once before they listen to some dude who puts himself up as the authority. And they've written a song about it. Give a listen.
Cosby coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Fat Albert swing that bat. He looks like Babe Ruth and Henry Aaron all rolled into one, with room left over for the umpire. <laughs> Fat Albert's a great hitter, though. But before our story is over today, he's going to bat for something more important than a home run. Nice to see you got three bats, Fat Albert. That way, I can strike you out with one pitch. <laughs> Just put the ball in there, pancake. Pancake? Why you call me a pancake? Because you're about to get flattened. <laughs> <laughs> Little creep. Mm -hmm. Dad, that boy, Rudy, old boy. Dad, that's bumping in the old pellet in there. No, no, stick in there, kid. Dad, that's the way to fire him in. Yeah! Strike one. Dad, a baby ass kid. Way to fire. Never saw it. Blew it right past him. Hey, that's showing him, Rudy. That's showing him, Rudy, old kid. Strike two. Okay, Fat Albert. This is the game winning pitch. That's right. Where'd you pointing at? The water tower. That's where the game winning pitch is going. <laughs> <laughs> You missed us, uh, Lucius. Oh, Lucius. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. Hey, cool hand, Lucius. Hand, Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, dude. Easy. You might bend the threads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I gotta admit, I like what you like. Me. <laughs> but seriously, what's cooking? <sighs> Fat Albert's learning a hard lesson about fans. They're not as cool as they look, especially the human kind. <laughs> Hi, Lucius. Say, say, say. It's Fat Albert. Yeah, yeah, never mind him. Hey, show some new tricks, Lucius. Tricks? Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, that's right. Right. Show some tricks, man. Show some tricks. I thought you'd never ask. As you know, the hand is slicker than the eye. Take a card. Any card. Hey, hey, hey. This is a card to play. <laughs> How'd you do that? If I told you, you wouldn't believe it. Besides, a good magician never repeats a trick. <laughs> <gasps> now, for my next and concluding trick, I shall take the fruit of a hen. <gasps> Hey, man, where, 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 where did you go? Wow. wow. Man, what happened? Now, with the flick of a wrist, I shall make it reappear thusly. <laughs> I caught you that time, Lucius. This ain't no real egg. It's collapsible, see? Ah, the jokes on you, really. <laughs> oh, shut up, Moby Dick. Moby Dick? Why you call me Moby Dick? Cause you never stop spouting off. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, the hand is slicker than the eye. 
So watch closely. Okay. Which hand is it in? That one. What? That one. Wait a minute. Now, where is it? In your back pocket. <laughs> I gotta get Lucius to show me that again. Hey, Lucius, man. Wanna show me that coin trick again? Hey, man, did you hear what I said? Why don't you get lost? Huh? Did I ever tell you that you were a pain in the neck? Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> hey, 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 Lucius, how's it going? Man, you juggle like a bear trying to fix a wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a little demonstration. Hey, 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 you're the greatest juggler in the area. Nothing to it. Just watch. <laughs> you jive at me. Yeah, jiving. Ha <laughs> Fat Albert, why don't you give up? Huh? Okay, Fat Albert, I give up. What's the gag? Ain't no gag. Oh, Lucius threw my tennis balls down here. That doesn't surprise me. He's sure been acting weird lately. Hey, 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 I hear what you say. I can't figure that dude out. <laughs> Fat Albert and Rudy are a little mixed up about Lucius and the way he's been acting. Hope I'm wrong about it, but I think I'm beginning to figure it out. Let's see if I'm right. Fat Albert, you and Rudy ought to put your words on crackers. Cause you're gonna have to eat them. I don't think so. I'm telling you, Lucius, that's a real case of the means. I have an announcement. You are all cordially invited to have pizza on me at Paisano Jones Pizza Palace. Yeah! yeah. Hey, you hear that? I heard pizza. that, man. Pizza! Yeah. Lucius is the one. Pick me up at my pad in an hour and we'll all chow down. You see, it's just like we said, Lucius is an OKOD. OKOD? Our kind of dude. Yeah, we, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, I can go for that. Boy, oh, man, I was going to have pepperoni pizza. Oh, man, I'm going to have cheese, hairy mushrooms, hairy fish, oh, cheese, everything. everything I want. Hey, Lucius. Lucius! We're here! Come by on the album, maybe! Lucius! Hey, Lucius! <laughs> hey, hey, all right, hey. all right! What you do is what? Pizza! Pizza! Pizza? I ain't got no pizza. Don't you remember? You were gonna take us all down to the Bysano Jones and buy us pizza. What are you talking about? I never said that. Huh? Oh, wait, hey, just you did too? Just, just, just a little oh, while ago. Man, that... You're all out of your gourd. Get out of here. <laughs> you know, there must be a lot of good in Lucius, but none of it seems to be coming out. But something else is going to be coming out about Lucius. You'll see. And Fat Albert and the kids aren't going to like it. <laughs> I told you. I told you. That Lucius is one weird cat. Yeah, yeah, we know. Why does anybody do a thing like that? Yeah! What do you think, Fat Albert? Hey, Fat Albert! Ah, hey! Wait, 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 Fat Albert! Where are you going, son? Uh, just, uh, not you, Karen. <laughs> Thank you.
Fat Albert? Well, well, what are you doing here, F Fat Albert? <laughs> I don't have to ask what you're doing here. It's it's good stuff. Have a drink. <laughs> what you doing here anyway? Spying on me and all? I want to find out why you've been acting like an escalator. One minute you're up and the next minute you're down. <laughs> now I know why. Who? You're a regular private eye, aren't you? When you get your own TV detective show, will you promise to let me have an autograph, please? Uh-huh, please? Not too funny, Lucy. You know, drinking this stuff is bad news. What? You gotta be putting me on. <laughs> What's the big deal? My folks know I take a little blast now and then, and you know what? They don't care. I don't believe your folks don't care as you drink. Ha, huh. my folks don't care about nothing I do. Then I just got one question. What's that? Why are you hiding down here? We need a good fungo hitter. Hey, here comes our best hitter, Fat Albert. Come on, Fat Albert, hit us some fungos. Not now, dudes. I got something important to lay on you. So that's the scoop on Lucius. Wow, just think, Lucius is an alcoholic. No, he isn't, but he's gonna be if we don't do something to help him. But what can we do? We can do what they do for my Uncle Arnold every Saturday night. What do they do? They throw him in the drunk tank. NCAA. <laughs> NCAA? No class at all. Russ is right, Willie. Really. It ain't funny, man. Yeah, we gotta help Lucius. But how? Well, I think I'll talk to my folks about this. I'll see you dudes later. See you later, dudes. Talking to parents is no good. Now, if we really want to get Lucius off the sauce, I got a plan that can't miss. Gather round, everybody. I'm going to clue you in. And that's how we're going to get old Lucius back on the right track. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him stop drinking unless you scare him. Uh, okay, supposing scaring him works, uh, how do we do it? Follow the leader. Well, well, uh, 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 hey, uh, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know. They say that a little knowledge is a dangerous thing, and Rudy is in big danger. He's not in big a danger as Lucius. As things stand, Lucius is almost a candidate for the Alcohol of Fame. And if that wasn't enough, Rudy and the kids are about to complicate his life even more. What you doing here? What am I doing here? You told me to meet you here. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you remind me of my Uncle Arnold. He gets mixed up like this, too. <laughs> Poor old Uncle Arnold. On account of he drinks so much, he's starting to see things. I said, he's starting to see things. Ah, fool! Ah, ah, fool! Ah. What was that all about? What was what all about? I didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. You mean to tell me you didn't see some dude in a sheet run up here and go, ah, boo, ah, at me? Ha, ha, stop pulling my leg. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were my Uncle Arnold, who drinks too much. <laughs> ah, boo, ah, ah, boo, ah. What's the paper skeleton bit about? Paper? Paper skeleton? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. If I didn't know better, I think you were just having hallucinations. Just like my Uncle Arnold, who drinks too much. <laughs> oh! Rudy, did you? I didn't see the pink elephant either. Of course, my Uncle Arnold, he sees pink elephants all the time. 
That's because he drinks too much. Okay, Rudy, time to level. Fat Albert put you up to this, didn't he? What? Fat Albert? Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You tell Fat Albert to keep his big mouth shut about me. Ah, what's wrong with you? There's a spider near your foot. Ah, I can't stand spiders. Man, that cat is headed for real trouble. Gee, I don't know about the dad. Now stop worrying, Albert. You did the right thing in talking to us about Lucius. Inviting his folks over here is the best way to handle it. But how do you tell people their son is drinking? It won't be easy, but it's got to be done. There they are now. Now don't worry, Albert. It's going to be all right. Come right in. You're in time for dessert. Uh, too bad Lucius isn't here. Pineapple upside down cake is one of his favorites. Ha ha ha! Speaking of Lucius. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Lucius? Well, what about Lucius? <clears throat> Me, you better sit down. But we are sitting down. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, about Lucius. Uh, I, I don't know how to say this without. Um... Well, what I want to say is. What you're trying to say is that Lucius has been drinking? Yeah, hey, you know about it? I'm afraid so. It was a terrible shock to us when we first found out. We were as much to blame as Lucius. We didn't want to pry to his personal life too much. Now that you know, what are you going to do? Well, we're not sure, but one thing we did find out from our doctor, we're not alone. Our doctor told us that one youngster in 15 is a potential alcoholic. Whatever we do from now on, one thing is sure. Lucius is going to know we care about him. I see you, Fat Albert. Come on out of there. Hey, 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 Lucius. Come here. I got something for you. Give me five. You ain't mad at me for telling you folks? I was at first, but they already knew anyway. You know, I had my folks all wrong. They really care about me, so I made up a new magic trick just for them. What's that? I made my bottles disappear for good. <laughs> so, Lucius has learned something new about his parents. And it's too bad that so many other kids never find out that their parents really, really care about them. In fact, Albert and the kids care a lot about Lucius, too. But if Lucius is going to come out of this, nothing is going to help unless he helps himself. It's not easy when you're at that age when everything changes so fast. Between the ages of 13 to 15, a parent can age as much as 20 years. And the kids have a song about today's show. <laughs>
coming at you with music and fun and if you're not careful you may learn something before it's done so let's get ready okay hey 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 Treasurer's report. Report, Treasurer. <clears throat> Before we get into this, I'd like to remind you dudes that money isn't everything. Maybe not, but it sure gives whatever's in first place a good race. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Enough of this by play. <clears throat> Tre Treasure report out uh, uh, the junkyard uh, clubhouse. After de crediting the debit and uh, debiting the credit, we, ha we have a balance. Balance of what? A uh, 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 balance of enough to go to the show. Uh, all right. Ever notice how rosy everything seems when there's a little green around? And that's another nice thing about money. It never clashes with anything you're wearing. <laughs> Now all they gotta do is decide what movie they wanna see. Now all we gotta do is decide what movie we wanna see. <laughs> There's a cool one playing at the pastime. Son of Wolfman meets the chicken heart at, at New York. Hey dudes, dig this mushy flick at the Parathon. Starring Ladder Love Nest, Warm Cookies and Broken Hearts. Nah, oh, man, man, I wanna see that mushy stuff, man. Who wants to see a love story? Love movies make my teeth hurt. Feel right. I want to see one of the good shows like the burning buildings that fell down on everybody. Oh, oh no, man. man. I want to see the monster yeah, movie. See much more. Well, let's oh, do this. Yeah, yeah, man, let's see. How uh, about that film with the apes? Film with apes? Yeah. Quiet, you dudes here. Quiet. All I wanted here is silence and very little of that there's only one fair way to settle this a secret vote gentlemen stop your pencils it's close one for the burning building that fell down on everybody and seven for uh warm cookies and broken hearts <laughs> who voted for that i don't know I oh man don't look at me well, you dudes can count me out. You'll never catch me at no mushy old land of love nest movie. Evidently, good old Fat Albert doesn't believe that love makes the world go round. He thinks it just makes people dizzy. <laughs> but his views are creating some problems. The gang wants to see the mushy movie, and Fat Albert doesn't want to. Well, we just have to wait and see who wins out. The good guys or the good guy. <laughs> Colors may fade, temples may crumble, empires may fall, but my love for you, dear heart, endures forever. 
Sadly, Rodney, my beloved, it cannot be. We must part now forever. <coughs> <coughs> well, look here. You threw me out. You never catch me in no mushy old line of love nest movie. Ha. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> A new day. How come you dudes got here so early? You didn't come around and pick me up like you always do. We know you aren't interested in the romantical side of life, Fat Albert. There's a new chick coming out to school today, and we want to check her out. We hear she's a real doll. Yeah, and pretty too. I can't figure you dudes out, man. What's all this sudden big deal with chicks? Forget all that sissy stuff. Come on, let's have a little catch before the bell. Hey, 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 where's the play? Not here, Fat Albert. We're waiting for Laverne. Laverne? Did you say Laverne? Huh. I knew the doll named Laverne once. Talk about homely. You want to know how homely she was, huh? You want to know? OK, I'll tell you how homely she was. She had a coming out party, but they, they made her go back in. <laughs> Fasten your safety belts, dudes. Here she comes. <laughs> you guys is too much, man. Okay, okay. Let's have a look at this. Good morning. My name's Laverne. What's yours? Laverne, Rudy. Uh, I mean Rudy, Laverne. My name's Bill. Russell, Bucky. Harold. Donald. Marbish Malvin. <laughs> See you all in class. <laughs> Fat Albert. Ooh, wee. That Laverne is my concern. Right on. Oh, oh, man, you said it again. Oh, oh wee. Ooh, wee. Ooh. Ooh. What'd you say to Laverne now, Fat Albert? Huh? Oh, uh, um, Laverne? Well, she's okay, I guess. Yeah, she's pretty nice, you know, for a girl. Pretty nice. <laughs> you got to be kidding. Okay, you say hi. You're not kidding us, Fat Albert. Yeah! You be God, but I be crabbish. Catch this, man. Hey, look at this. Oh, hey, man, check this out. Look. They're really laying it on Fat Albert, aren't they? As if he didn't have enough trouble right now. You know, Fat Albert's at that awkward age. Too old for an allowance and too young for a credit card. Now, let's check in on him and see how he's making out. Hey, dudes, watch this. Watch what? I'm going to stand on my hands. Big deal. Yeah, to call you Pants Presser. Pants Presser? Yeah, you get everybody all steamed up. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you cast like the way I stood on my hands, huh? That's nothing. I Stay on my hands. Watch. See? Oh, crap. Look at me. Great. Ooh. Will you cool it? What's so good about walking on a tightrope on the ground? Lots. When the rope gets up in the air, I'll be right at home on it. I wish you were right at home right now. <laughs> I have a suggestion for you. Let's loose up the ring with your right hand. Now, let's loose up your left hand. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever be able to say you're a ringer. <laughs> Get it, dudes? Ringer. R-I-N-G. N-G. That's right, Rudy. N-G. <laughs> What's with you? Huh? Oh, I got lots of studying to do. Oh, study, Smutty. You're just bugged because we needled you about Laverne. I am not. I just don't have no time for that show-off stuff. Hey, look at me. Everybody, look at me. Ooh, did you hurt yourself? Look at here, the fun. Ooh, don't fall. Oh, you poor thing. Hey, the bird. Look
Look here. <laughs> nice going, glasses. Glasses? Yeah, you sure make a spectacle out of yourself. <laughs> oh, Bill, you're so witty. But you really were juggling so well. Too bad that old barrel was so naughty. I gotta hand it to you, dudes. Many cat wants to see real cool style. They ought to catch you making fools out of yourself. <laughs> show offs. That's what you do, is show offs. See you all tomorrow. <laughs> My fat Albert, what strip? <laughs> oh, I ain't there. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. This here gift is just for you. Sign, guess who? Ah, uh, isn't this sweet? <laughs> Wonder what silly dude went broke giving her that. I just run fast uh, when I'm strolling along real cool, you know? Yeah. That's it. You sure got a cool present there. Oh, my, yes. I wonder who gave me these chocolate-covered peanuts. Peanuts? They're not peanuts. They're almonds. Oops. <laughs> Here's our friend Fat Albert, as if you didn't know. And Fat Albert's put on so much weight, he's running out of places to hide it. What do you suppose he's up to now? Let's take a closer look. Well, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Albert, how you do get around? May I help you carry your books, my lady? You mean book, don't you? <laughs> Isn't this out of your way, Albert? Not at all. <laughs> but I thought you lived six blocks away, in the other direction. I do, but uh, who counts? <laughs> we count. <laughs> aren't they cute? Yes, they aren't. Come on, Fat Albert. Quit eating your big fat heart out. Ask her for a date. <laughs> Tell me, Fat Albert. Tell her you want to hold hands. <laughs> Ask her now. Yeah, come on, Get down, man. Get with him, man. You could use a hand. 
You know, you're really lucky that cat didn't hit you. Oh, yeah? Why? It might have knocked you conscious. <laughs> hey, look at you here, Fat Albert! Hey, Fat Albert, where's your girlfriend? Don't you dudes know he only meets her in secret? <laughs> right. It's no secret. Even the two of them don't know that they're meeting. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could date Laverne any time I want. Then, but why, but don't, but you, but... Because I don't want you guys to feel jealous. Hear that? Yeah. Yeah, man, they want to... You know, I don't want to come here to be insulted. I can stay home for that. Admit it, Fat Albert. You're scared to ask Laverne for a date. You do make me suffer extreme irritation. What's with you dudes? What do you want? We want you to prove you're not afraid to ask Laverne out. Because you're in love with her. Admit it. Ha, ha, ha. You really think I'm in love with Laverne? Is that what you really think? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> 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 you do think I'm chicken to ask Laverne. We There's only one reason I won't ask it. I just don't feel like it. You don't feel like what, Albert? I don't feel like... Oh. 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 <laughs> Go on, Fat Albert. Yeah, tell her what you told us. You know, you don't feel like dating her. Oh, is that right, Albert? Well, uh, uh see, um, uh... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad, Albert. Because I wanted to go to a movie with you. <laughs> I love the movie, Albert. Me too. Um. I love the part where Lash LaRue rode off into the sunset as the girl stood back and watched with tears in her eyes. Oh, when, when was that? At the very end. You know, Albert, you really weren't paying too much attention to the movie. Movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, there's another great movie tomorrow night, The Incredible Journey to the Blazing Inferno in the center of the Transylvania Station. Uh, well, I really must do my homework tomorrow night. Oh, well, how about the day after tomorrow night, then? I'm afraid I can't. Then we'll make it after the day after tomorrow, or maybe the day after that, or maybe a week from... Just a minute, Albert. Look, Albert, you know that I'm very fond of you and care for you very much. You do? Yes, as a friend. Mm, a friend? We'll always be good friends, won't we, Albert? Yeah, friends. Man, that Albert sure been down in the dump since Laverne cooled the romance. Yeah, boy, right. oh, yeah. Oh, man, who's you, who you telling? Don't blame him. Jake's are nowhere. Oh, oh, you mean you couldn't get a date with Laverne either? Nah, I, uh... Oh, shut up. He told me he was never gonna get involved with another girl as long as he left, you know? Sure, right. Look. Now, you take the, uh, pi r square here, you see, and I'll give you the right answer. Oh, Albert, you're so smart. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Looks like Fat Albert patched up his heart pretty fast. And that doesn't mean he didn't really suffer when Laverne set him straight. But it does mean that Fat Albert is not sour on girls, and that means he's growing up. After all, love at first sight may be all right, but a second look can get you off the hook. The gang have come up with a song about romance that tells it pretty good. <laughs>
coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! Looks like it's never gonna stop, man. Hey, 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 Justin. Now what are we play? Well, I don't know. So far, we played the Brown Hornet, right? Batman, Spider-Man, Plastic Man, Iron Man, and Tarzan Man. Oh, I, you're wondering about the tin cup, I guess. Well, I want to catch some of the money that's about to come down any minute, see, because the paper said there's going to be some change in the weather. You get it? Change in the weather. Okay, so it's a bad pun, but that's not the only thing that's bad. The climate is still bad for Fat Albert and his cousin Justin. And in just a second, you'll see who else it's bad for. There's a change, you see? Change with the money in the weather. I thought it was cute. I got a great idea, man. Instead of all them superheroes, let's play some cool sports heroes. Yeah, you be Broadway Joe and I'll be OJ. Right on, man. Hey, hey, hey. Get going, OJ. I'm in the clear. <laughs> Catch the back of my hand if you don't clear this mess up fast, you hear? Okay, Dad, right away. When you get through with that, go out and play. The rain is easing up. Well, they say today's young people are pretty cool. Well, no wonder. The heat is on us parents. Uh-oh, it's starting to rain again. Come on, let's head for the junkyard clubhouse. Wait. I got a better idea. Let's go in there till the rain's over. But I don't have any cash. Don't need any money. We'll just act like we're just gonna spend. I don't know. They don't dig dudes like us wandering around inside. Aw, uh, don't be a big fat chicken, Fat Albert. Come on. Oh, no. Doggone gumdrops? Why be? Dog Bugoba. Cause one little old gumdrops in your mouth for three seconds and then it's your belly for three months. My name's Harlow, and you got to be Fat Albert. Bless me, how do you know? How could I miss? Man, there's sure a lot of you, isn't there? Well, I've sort of been watching my weight. Yeah, watching it go up. <laughs> How'd you two dudes get to know each other? Oh, we met at the swipe meet. You mean swap meet. Oh, yeah, swap meet at the youth center. Mm. I'm very interested in the youth of this country. Every chance I get, I work with our young people. Yes, sir. Yeah, 
Harlan knows more kids than anybody. Look, dudes, I got to be moving along now and uh, see you around. Get it? Round. <laughs> Okay, Fat Albert, let's case the store. Case? Yeah, you know, look around. Come on. Mmm, how you like these chocolate-covered Brazil nuts? Too much. Caramel-covered coconut bars, chocolate-covered raisins, malt-covered nougats, and ooh-wee, peanut brittle. <laughs> peanut brutal? Don't you mean peanut brittle? No, I don't. The way I love them, it's brutal. Wow, look at this. Half price for a Marty Markham coloring book. This one's even better. You draw between all these dots, and when you get done, you get a picture of Harry Belafonte. All right, boys. Outside, all of you. I told you before to keep out of this store. There's the door. Now, what was that all about? Babas, I don't get it. We we didn't do nothing. Babas Rabbit. Hey hey hey, peanut brittle. Hey. Wait a minute. I didn't see you buying them bars. That's right. Nobody saw me do nothing. Then how did you? Oh no. Don't tell me that you took them bars without paying for them. Okay, I won't tell you. <laughs> Come on, Fat Albert. Eat your candy and stop worrying about it. About where it came from, will you? Justin, that's all wrong. Didn't you know that? What's wrong with it? Nothing except everything. Come on, Fat Albert. Just because I pick up a couple of candy bars, you don't think that makes me a crook, do you? Sounds like Fat Albert and Justin have a little difference of opinion there. It also sounds like Justin has a surefire method for getting things. He forgets who he borrowed them from, which is what's worrying Fat Albert so much right now. Thanks for babysitting, Justin, Fat Albert. All right, let's get back to our dinner again. We've got your favorite dinner tonight. Hickory smoked barbecued pizza a la mode. Albert, are you all right? Yeah, just fine, Mom. Hey, why don't you eat your pizza? You're not eating the pizza the way you usually eat, son. You're the only one I ever saw who gets sparks out of a knife and fork. Mmm, your head isn't too hot. That's not all that isn't too hot. What's wrong? Well, I'm... You can tell us, Albert, please. It's, it's just... What, what's with Justin? Come on, today when I was taking care of him, he gave me a candy bar. That's right, that's just what he did. What's wrong with that? Well, he didn't pay for it. You mean he stole it? That's right, and he took a couple other bars, too. Little Justin stealing? I can't believe it. Well, neither can I. Did you tell him it was wrong? Sure, but there's this older dude named Harlow who's been telling Justin a lot of junk about it, and it's cool to swipe stuff. So when I told Justin the steal was bad, he just laughed at me. He did, did he? Well, we better call Justin's mom right away. Uh, hey, kid, come here. I just wanted to tell you that, uh, I think you're ready for the big time, kid. Huh? What do you mean? I'll tell you what I mean. Your first big score. But I'll tell you all the details tomorrow. Congratulations, kid. There. It's all done. Now, who, who, who's gonna go down? Oh, Rudy will show you how it's done. I'm on my own now, ski buffs. If he isn't on his own now, he soon will be. Well, you loud and clear. 
Here goes nothing. Truer words were never spoken. Whee! Now that's what I call a real down-to-earth performance. Hey, 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 look who's coming our way. Hey, Fat Albert, man, how's it going? What's happening, man? Hey, man, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Huh? Oh, oh, I'm all done babysitting. That's what I want to talk to you dudes about. I can't talk about it out here. Let's go in the clubhouse where we can be secret. So my cousin Justin been taking things without paying for him, you know? And he learned this little deal from Harlow. Hey, I think Harlow's pretty cool. Yeah, he's cool, all right. He's so cool, he belongs in the cool air. We gotta stop Harlow before he gets a lot of harm done. What Justin take? Candy bars. Oh, that's just a little thing. My uncle Boo will be sent to jail bu, for be taking me a little thing, but What'd he take? A diamond man ring, but anyway, we gotta do something about Harlow. I know what we can do. Fat Albert can fight him. Wait a minute. You just know fighting won't sell anything. Besides, where's the we in it? Well, watch. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. man. You go do it. Yeah, we'll watch it out. You care? You might steal on him. See you later, Fat Albert. Keep watching, man. Yeah. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this little cousin of mine? Now, Justin's really got old fat Albert worried. Not that Albert expects him to make who's who, but if he doesn't change Justin's ascent to make who's through. And it isn't only fat Albert who's worried about Justin. What? What did you say? I don't believe a word of it. Justin, your cousin Albert claims you stole some candy bars. That Albert's lying. Well, there are a lot of things you can say about Albert. He's overweight. He's not over beautiful. But he's no liar. But there's no evidence. Nobody saw me take those candy bars. Why did you do it, Justin? Because I was hungry. Come on, son. You're not making any sense. Your father's right, Justin. Somewhere, somehow, we've slipped up in teaching you right from wrong. <laughs> Why are you making such a big deal out of all of this? Why? It's, it's all in Fat Albert's fault. Why didn't he keep his big mouth shut? No, no. Lean the ball a little to the left. Too much. Lean it more to the right. Oh, no. If you don't kick that ball, man, I'm gonna lead you to the right. No clown. <laughs> Here's Mr. Babbitt, dude. Look, I can tell you dudes how to get a brand new football easy. I got me a setup where all you gotta do is follow my orders and pick up a few choice items when nobody's looking, and I'll turn them into instant cash, dig? Who you trying to jive, you turkey? That action's nowhere. Yeah, that's all we need to get busted. <clears throat> You don't see any chains on my wrist, do you? <laughs> Your problem is, is you're all chicken. <laughs> oh, oh, look, uh, I gotta get moving fast. Think about it. Hey, 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 what'd that cat have to say? He, he wants us going on a pretty big deal with him. Sounded pretty good to me. Yeah, I bet it did. That Harlow's gotta be stopped. He's bad news. For a dude who's bad news, he sure is good news with the gravy. This gravy boat is about to get sunk. I think it's time we call the police about good old Harlow. Bubba Dabba would be baby stooling beaten. Come on, dudes, let's trail along after Harlow and we'll see what's worse. Stooling or stealing. Uh-huh. Well, uh, I see.
<laughs> A real bargain, marked down to half price from nothing. <laughs> Just the man I want to see. Just an old pal. I got a real cool setup rig for you. Uh, look, Harlow. Uh, I, I don't, I don't think I can. Of course you can. <laughs> Now, you just listen real close to me, little pal. I'm gonna put you in the big time, whether you want it or not. <laughs> hey, 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 let's break up the play. Uh-oh, keep your lips zipped, kid. Aloha. Hold it, pal, you can't get away. Turn this evidence over to the police and have them check out Harlow. You know, it's uh, gonna put Harlow in a bind. Yeah, what about kids like Justin? Think it's a bind they'll be in if we don't stop dudes like Harlow from making crooks out of them. I'll go with you, Fat Albert. Count me in. Beto? Hey, 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 it's Judgment Day. So you see, it's like we figured the police caught Harlow with a room full of loot. Well, that means he won't be hassling me no more. Nor anybody else. He had more dudes like you lined up for his future plans, too, Jack. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no, 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 now remember, you report to me twice a week, because from now on, everything you do will be under a microscope. Good luck, Harlow. Hey, 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 I'm sorry I had to turn that dude in. No, Fat Albert, you did the right thing. Fat Albert, they ought to call you Long Playing Record. Long Playing Record? You mean because I talk? No, because you're the goofiest. Well, thanks to Fat Albert and the gang, Justin is one minor who won't grow up to be a major problem. And as for Harlow, let's hope he begins to act responsibly. He better be responsible, because from now on, if something goes wrong, he'll be held responsible. And the kids have a song about such things, and they just can't wait to lay it on you. Hear them out.
Cosby coming at you with music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey! Let's go, Rudy! Now what? I just ran out of fingers. Now you know why some cats say baseball is two minutes of action crammed into four hours. Now, Rudy isn't helping much, either. He's working on that old theory of never put off tomorrow what you can put off till the day after tomorrow. Anyway, let's see what happens now that Russell's ran out of fingers. Pitch it, man! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man! Come on, man! Before this goes any farther, you think you might want this? <laughs> yeah, the ball. <laughs> no clown. <laughs> Still hadn't got my home run ball. Dulcie's <laughs> dog on dog is why Bill missed the catch. I demand justice. Don't tip them. They just might give it to you. What's all that noise about? It's all your fault, Dulcie. So nice to see Rudy taking such a noble attitude. And now, we all know that Rudy's a brave dude. In fact, his boast is that they don't come too small for him. What our pal doesn't know is that Dulcie is not about to let him hand her a lot of guff. No way. In short order, they're going to have words. But Rudy's not going to get much chance to use his. Just listen. Huh? Here I had this no hit going for me, and I threw a perfect strike which Fat Albert is lucky to get a piece of. So, Fat Albert pops this itty-bitty fly ball over my head, and Bill is about to catch it in his hip pocket when that mangy pooch of yours attacks him and knocks him over, causing him to let Fat Albert score an unearned home run. Rudy, how dare you? Huh? Don't you dare call Sanford a mangy pooch. He just happens to be a pedigree schnauzer. Schnauzer mauser. All I know is he ruined my lifetime pitching average. Get out of this ballpark, you little count mutt. Look, Dulcie, how many times we gotta tell you to keep your mutt out of our hair? Pooh, no self-respecting dog would go near your hair, would they, Sanford? Oh. <laughs> You got no call letting that miserable mud of yours run wild around here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah? So we don't ever want to see old four legs around here ever again. You go along with me, gang? 
Yeah, we got to go along with you, Rudy. Now, you got the good word from the House of Representatives. Take Stanford and scram. You heard him? Yeah. Take four more. legs and get on away from here, man. Right on. Be there, Chief. Very well. Show me your papers. Papers? What papers? The papers that say you boys own this public property? Come on, Dulcie. Quit putting us on. You see, you have no right to try to keep others from the just pursuits of happiness. Okay. If you want to pursue your happiness, it went that way. <laughs> <laughs> this is no joking matter. I feel very strongly about the rights of individuals. So do we. And Sanford is an individual, too. Just because he's a smart animal doesn't mean he doesn't have the same rights you do. Aw, oh, come on. Sanford has a privilege of running free. I know. That's what's wrong with people today. They coop the poor animals and birds up like prisoners. You got to draw a line somewhere, Dulcie. Otherwise, we'll be up to our hips and pets. Oh, yeah? How would you feel if you had to go around all day with a leash around your neck? <laughs> Lucky for him, they don't make him that big. <laughs> oh, it's no use. Why am I wasting time trying to get through to you? You... Dummies? That's close enough. Good day. Hey, there'll be a slight delay. Huh? Why? Lift the net. To the leopard chaps, do it this way, too. Don't talk about no class to us. You're the no classiest cat up there is. Nobody hears you, Subway. Subway? Why'd you call me Subway? Because you're such a big boy. Cool it, you two. The master volleyball server is ready to dish it up. Probably be a law against all these much running loose violent citizens. Yeah, no matter where we go, we get hounded by the hounds. All right, all right, let's get going. Hey, 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 again the play. Oh, man. Oh. Would you believe that? People should put pigeons on leeches. That's leeches. Leeches or leeches, they should keep them on them. <laughs> One more time. Bill. Don't blame me. How was I to know the balls that were going to reach me? Yeah, we. All but the but burbits and the beeble doll burbits. Look, Sanford's got our ball. Let's get it. There you go. like Sam forgot away. Yeah, dumb, dumb pooch. If he's so dumb, what does that make us? Frustrated. <laughs> Sanford may be a great tonic to Dulcie, but he's a great pill to everybody else. Now let's see how Fat Albert and the kids handle this situation. Hold it. That's the answer to our problem. Follow me. Excuse us, officer. We've got a citizen's complaint. Okay, boys. Let's have it. It's about a theft. Oh, what was taken? A volleyball. I see. Who was the culprit? Sanford. You mean the guy in TV? No, no. Dulcie's Sanford. Maybe you better start at the top. Okay, I'll give it to you like it happened. See, we was playing volleyball, and Dawson's dog, Sanford, swiped up, and not only that, but he's been running loose with the collar and the leash and messing up everything for everybody. Give us a description of the dog, and we'll report it to the animal care department. Over here. 
Bingo. Uh, I just found out what you boys did. You reported my poor Sanford to the animal care center, didn't you? Okay, we did. But you asked for it. Letting your dog run uh, loose all over the whole neighborhood. Now I have to go down to the animal people and get Sanford. All this trouble because of your anti-nature attitudes. Don't get us wrong, Dossie. We, we're not anti-anything. We're just anti-getting our volleyball swiped right in the middle of the game. That's all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to pick up Sanford, and we're going to do just like we did before. So there. That's the nicest thing you said to us yet. You're lucky that's all I'm doing. Why do you boys insist on picking on Sanford and me? Why? Well, look, Dulcie, we're not picking on you, man. Or him. How can you say that? You report Sanford to the police, and they have him picked up by the animal people. Oh, and you say you're not picking on me? Oh, and you say you're not picking on me? Sanford, get them out of here. <laughs> Fat Albert and the gang for being worried about Sanford. They say a barking dog never bites. The only trouble is you never know when he may stop barking. Anyway, Fat Albert and the gang are safe for the moment, even if Dulcie isn't. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Santa, Sanford! and thought I was trying to hurt you, Sanford. Luckily, he only nipped my finger. If it hadn't been for Fat Albert and his gang, none of this would have happened. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 we can be on our way. A dog nipped your finger? What kind of dog? Oh, just a plain old dog. He didn't mean to. It happened when I was trying to get Sanford away from the intersection. Dulcie, we can't take a chance. That dog might have rabies. Oh, Mom, stop worrying, will you? There's nothing wrong with that dog. Honest. We can't be sure of that. We're going to get you to a doctor right away. I swear it is, dudes. You mean we're blamed? Because Dulcie got nipped by a dog? I'm not blaming anybody. The main thing is we gotta find that dog fast. Yeah, because if we don't, then Dulcie will have to get pasteurized for rabies. You mean she'll have to take pasture treatments? Yeah, pasteurize is what they do to the milk. Look, we don't have time to stand around here arguing. We gotta find the dog. And fast. <laughs> Well, sometimes Fat Albert thinks the world is against him and the gang, and right now it looks like he's right. If they don't find that dog in a hurry, Dulcie's going to have to undergo treatment for rabies, and that's a long, painful process, but very necessary in case of doubt. All we can do is hope the kids come up with the missing dog in time. Did that dog that nipped Dulcie have a license? Of course not. What do you think he is? A car? This is the trouble. Dulcie didn't stop to check out if he had a car and tags. All right, we're gonna split up. Everybody go in different directions. If you get a clue, report back here. 
Uh-huh. Describe the dog again, huh? Ah! We all know what he looks like. First, he got four legs and a tail. No. C-L-A-S-S. What's more, the dog was big and shaggy. He was brown collar, and Dulcie said he looked like a cross between a retriever and a collie. That's right, a recall. I wish they'd recall you. OK, now, let's get on the ball. Time is of essence. <laughs> What do you think you find on a tiny little old tin can, Mr. Wise Guy? A nickel. What do you say to that, Mr. Not-So-Wise Guy? Come on, we gotta find that dog or dog is in for a lot of hassling. We're getting nowhere. Yeah, I never knew there were so many stray dogs and cats in the whole world. Come on, we can't quit now. Nobut, hebut, dibbin, fibbit, dubbit, distribution, nobut, labor. Man, this is frustrating. Yeah, nine million trillion dogs and cats, and none of them him. Where's Weird Hal? He ought to be back by now. Yeah, he's a real weirdo. That one, never know what'll happen to him. If you don't get here soon, we better look. Hey, dudes, think this is the dog? Hey, 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 let's not delay. Fat Albert was smart and not stalling around. Weird Harold had the right dog, all right. But something else that turned out all right, too. The dog, he didn't have rabies. Lucky for Dulcie that it worked out that way. She was saved from a lot of treatments. Now, I hope you remember if you ever get bitten by a dog or a cat or any other animal, don't wait around, get to the doctor fast. Let's see what's going on over there. Quiet, Sanford. I want to talk to you boys. So does your old dog. <laughs> he won't hurt you. Come on out. I promise. I want to thank you for what you did. If it hadn't been for you guys, well, I'd have been in a lot of trouble. And if I hadn't gotten Sanford back, I don't know what I would have done. Notice anything different about him? You gave him a bath? <laughs> I always keep him clean, silly. I learned a good lesson about letting dogs run around loose. Hey, 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 new leash in the collar and dog tags, too. That's right. From now on, I'm going to see that dogs stay off the streets. <laughs> I got a great one. You know the best way to keep a dog off the street? <laughs> Put him in a parking lot. <laughs> Get him? <it>? Parking lot. <laughs> Parking lot? Oh, no. Actually, Rudy doesn't have a lot of faults, but he sure makes the most out of the ones he's got. And to get the taste of Rudy's pun out of their ears, the kids have come up with a song that tells it about pets. Just give a listen. Big responsibility. Watch him. Take a look around. You love him. 
something before it's done. atmosphere of Zephyron as the incredibly vicious behemoth monster was about to turn them into an after-dinner mint. <laughs> Using the brown hornet's superpowers, they naturally escaped unharmed. Yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that. Now, we pick up with our heroes as they face an even worse threat. I am the commissioner. Surrender at once. <laughs> Where is the wise and benevolent leader of this planet, the teacher? The teacher is gone. Now I am ruling the planet, Argest. Take them to the dungeon. I will handle these mechanical ruffians. This foolishness. You are definitely not a nice man, Commissioner. I shall find the teacher, and once again, he will be the leader of Argus. Fear not, crew. I shall return. a surprise for you, too. You will be the first to try out my new Corbinite cruncher. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. What's new, Brownie? Long time no see. I have come to return you as the rightful leader of Argus. Well, Brownie, I've got some bad news for you. I'm not coming back. You see, my time is almost up. How can you know? I'm a robot. As you can see, my transistors are tiny. Now, do me a favor, Brownie. Go back and tell the people they have to go on without me. I won't keep you from your pressing engagement. Begin! Hey, fellas, wait! 
great. I, I never really wanted to be a pancake. Yeah. Hold on, crew. I will save you. People of Argus, I have seen the teacher and I am sad to say he is never coming back. You have learned from the teacher. You have his wisdom and his legacy. You must go on without him. And as for you, Commissioner, I shall keep a close superhero eye on your activities. Now, we must away. I have a feeling that the people of the planet will make it. Even without the teacher. Well, uh, my feelings aren't so good about us. Look! We're being drawn into the center of the sun. Will our daring heroes survive their latest dangerous threat? Tune in next week for another exciting episode of The Brown Hornet! Hey, 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 hey. Got out the way. Ooh! Hey! Ooh! This just my play. Here you are, men. The Fat Albert Instant Budget Low Cost Do It Yourself Skateboard. A couple of little corrections. Firstly, it wasn't instant since you started building this thing three days ago. Granted. Secondly, the low budget turned out to be cost plus, zooming it up to more than 42 cents. Granted. And thirdly, the do-it-yourself part called for all of our creative efforts to unfix what you fixed. Granted, none of us are perfect. <laughs> now for the big test run. Now for the big test three. Your truly. Nobody get in my way. Ah! Anyone for tennis? Is a fiddle. Same shape, too. <laughs> Only king size. <laughs> you all know my Uncle Monty, don't you? Monty the Magnificent, at your service. Singer of songs, dancer of dances, the second greatest all around entertainer in the world. Ta -da -da -ta -da -da -da. Please, please, no applause. <laughs> I have a headache. <laughs> Catch! Arm. Arm, arm. Old Uncle Monty put a little too much on that one. You gotta envy Undine. It's sure nice to have an uncle who can do all those neat things. I mean, your old Uncle Bill here has been known to do a trick or two in his day. Watch me pull a rabbit out of this hat. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Close. Just for that, you'll have to stay in there, rabbit. Let's see what Uncle Monty's doing. Oof. You know, kids, skateboards can be a lot of fun when you use them wisely. First of all, never skate in the streets where there's traffic. I don't know if that truck driver should be given a ticket for speeding or for flying too low. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Monty, you're too much. Okay, first thing I want to do is ride this thing standing on my hands. No hot dogging yet, Rudy. After you learn to control the board, you can cut the fancy capers. If old Rude can't start right from the top, he won't settle for the bottom. Undine kept telling us what a royal clown sport you were, and here you were back away from a little old skateboard. Ha! Uncle Monty can do anything, can't you, Uncle Monty? Well, I... Uh, I thought so. Well, let's see now. 
I guess this is the wrong way to do it, eh? Mark Twain once said, we can all pick our friends, but we cannot pick our relatives. Now, he might not have said that if he'd had a relative like Undine's Uncle Monty. Not only is he a talented performer, but he's a real nice human being. How much further, Uncle Monty? We're almost there, Undine. Cotton candy? Nope. Caramel taffy apples? Nope. Please, Uncle Monty, tell me what you've got in the bag. Uh-uh. You'll see in a minute, Undine. Now watch how a real magician can make things appear. Oh, uh, that's what you've got in the bag. Crumbs for the ducks. What have you got against fish? <laughs> now where? We've got more mouths to feed. Hey, hey, hey. Bad news, dudes. <laughs> What's the matter? Somebody holding you down to six meals a day? <laughs> Shut up, plastic cup. Plastic cup? Hey, why you call me a plastic cup? No glass. No glass? You mean no class? You said it. I didn't. I got something to lay on you, dude. Ain't gonna be any more team sports at school. They just cut out the sports out of the school budget. They can't do that. No use, dudes. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, I don't know about that. I have an idea. Yes, sir. I think I know a way to get you out of your troubles. You mean? Yes. Undine's Uncle Monty is going to put on a big benefit show. Now, you're probably wondering, how come I know this? Well, that's what they did in all those old movies with Gloria Jean, Mickey Rooney, and Deanna Durbin. Your folks will tell you who they were. Anyway, see if I'm not right about the benefit show. <laughs> Rudy, what are you doing all by yourself there? Resting. Resting? But you haven't done anything yet. I know that. I have to get rested before I start, don't I? School closed for repairs time again. School closed for repairs time? What are you talking about? No class. Come on, kids. We don't have time for bickering. I, Uncle Monty, hereby appoint you two as a team. Ugh. Unroll it and festoon it around these hallowed halls. Hey, hey, hey. Let's not delay. Choo choo. One side for the Fat Albert Express. <laughs> Don't look now, Fat Albert, but aren't you forgetting something? Uncle Monty, don't worry about the decorating. We'll finish everything, won't we, kids? While we're doing that, you can rehearse for your performance. Our yeah, yeah right on. Now, the first thing I do is open the act with a little juggling bit. Here comes the jokes, folks. <laughs> you know why Humpty Dumpty had a great fall? Why? To make up for a crummy summer. <laughs> Hey, guess what? I just found a brand new way to save money. I use somebody else's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, money's always been a problem. I'm not putting you on. I never had a penny to my name. So I changed my name. <laughs> but I'm not apologizing for my actions. No, sirree. As a matter of fact, 
There's only one dude I'd take my hat off to. My barber! <laughs> He's a real genius. He just solved the parking problem. He bought a parked car. <laughs> Well, I may not be as good as Uncle Monty, you see, but then who is? He's a very talented dude. Catch what he's doing now. <laughs> yes, sirree, kids. I want you to meet my wonderful talking dog, Homer. Homer, what kind of dog are you? A police dog. You don't look like a police dog. Of course not. I'm in the Secret Service. <laughs> Secret Service, eh? Yeah, CIA. CIA? Yep. Car investigating animal. <laughs> well, look here. Where do you investigate these cars? Mostly in oh, 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 barking lots. <laughs> barking lot. Hmm. Uncle Monty, do you know the story about the mountain? No, Undine. <laughs> Forget it, it's just a bluff. <laughs> Uncle Monty, do you know what one candle asked the other candle? No, what did one candle ask the other candle? Are you going out tonight? <laughs> That's the way. I get it. Like this. There. Perfect. Except may I make one slight suggestion? <laughs> hey, that's great, hey, man. I'm trying to do something else. Give it five, brother. Hey, Wombly, you coming to see Uncle Monty's big benefit show? Uh, there ain't gonna be a show, Fat Albert. Huh? Uncle Monty just... died. No. Oh, oh, man, 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 I, I don't man, believe that. Mm -hmm. That's a mistake. Well, it's true. Uncle Monty's gone, and it's hard to believe. Uh, anybody here want to play a game of catch? Yeah, I guess we all feel pretty bad about Uncle Monty. But think of poor Undine. How do you think she feels? Oh, Undine, come in. I'm just getting some of your Uncle Monty's things together. What for? Well, we have to put them away. Put them away? Yes, I thought we'd make a sewing room out of this. No, this is Uncle Monty's room. Why can't we leave it the way it is? Look, Undine, we all loved Uncle Monty. Then why are you changing everything? Because he's gone. He's not gone to me. And you wouldn't say that either if you really loved him. <laughs> mm. Good old Uncle Monty. It isn't easy for any of us to adjust to the loss of a loved one. And Undine is taking it especially hard, and I hope she'll be able to get over it. And so do Fat Albert and the gang. Albert? Here. Yeah. Undine? <clears throat> Has anyone seen Undine? No, ma'am. Not since Uncle Monty died. Mm, it's been some time now. I hope she's all right. Wonder how Undine is. Well, we pass the house every day on the way home. One of us just stop in and see how she is. Hey, hey, hey. I know what you're gonna say. No way. Not me. Well, if not you, who's gonna do it? Yeah, man. Oh, you can't, Albert. Albert. Ooh. 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 
Undine, uh, you, uh, you okay? We're, uh, you know, uh, sorry, real sorry about, you know, all the gang miss you, uh, yeah. When you coming back to, uh, school? Poor Fat Albert, he aims to please, but judging by Undine's reaction, he's not a very good shot. Well, Fat Albert may be down, but he's not out. Hey, hey, hey. Sure wish I knew what to say to Undine. No fun, I'm mean, your best uncle died. But it isn't right for Undine to stop living either. I, I just don't know. Uh oh. Hey, 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 Undine. Is this seat taken? Care for some fresh broken cookies? Well, there's my poor little girl in the same spot again. Look, Undine, this just isn't right. We all know how much you love your uncle, and we love him too. And you gotta face it, he's gone. No, he's not gone, not to me. Albert's right, Undine. Uncle Marty is gone. No, no! <laughs> oh. Okay, how come nobody's talking? On account when your big mouth is open, there's no room for anybody else to talk. Don't try to jive me. Everybody's uptight about Undine. Yeah, man, I sure put my foot in it. I wouldn't be surprised if she never talked to me again. Undine, may I come in? Undine, I know how much you miss Uncle Monty, and I miss him too. But he still lives in both of us. We'll always have Monty's wonderful, zestful life. It's up to us to carry it on. It's a priceless gift he left us. We should treasure it. Hi, gang. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. How are you doing? Well, how's it going? Pretty good. Hey, it's nice seeing you smile again. I've had time to think. Uncle Monty wouldn't want to be remembered with tears. He'd rather be remembered for the fun he brought everybody. So I'm gonna try to be like he was. There's something else Uncle Monty would have wanted. Huh? What's that? He would have wanted us to go on with the show. Well, it looks like Undine is on her way back. She's starting to accept the fact that death is a reality, brings heartaches. But Undine knows now that hanging on to the sadness doesn't help anything. And as her Uncle Monty would have said, the show must go on. something before it's done.
that time the brown hornet. It's not a bird. It's not a bee. It's the brown hornet. As you recall, last time we left our hero, the brown hornet, and his trusty pal Stinger, hopelessly trapped in the waiting fangs of a giant space gargoyle who was about to use them for hors d'oeuvres. But using the brown hornet's superpowers, they naturally escaped unharmed. Now, we pick up with our heroes as they face an even worse threat. This is Queen Teva of Eden calling the Brown Hornet. Please land immediately. I need your help. Prince Blue Car has become addicted to junk food. Queen Teva, do not fret. I, the Brown Hornet, am on the way. Stinger, fire the iodized crack turn rockets and bring us in for a landing. Hi, Brown Hornet. Oh, boy. Now to make a nice soft landing on Eden. Look at this place! It's like a garden paradise! Eden is the health food capital of the galaxy. But enough chatter, crew. We must find Queen Teva. You think the queen would mind if I snack a little on the way? Prince Blue Car has forsaken the way of help and is now eating only junk food. <laughs> it has physically and mentally changed him. He has made a horrible junk food machine. And now he is taking over the planet. Please, Brown Hornet, you must help us. Queen Tiva, I shall do my superhero best and save not only you, but the prince. Here's pie in your eye. <laughs> Patient Stinger, I'm on the way. <laughs> Guy has got Tweeter. Enough of this foolishness. Too much of anything can hurt you, and you have had enough sweets for today, Blue Car. And now it is off to the health farm for you, Prince Blue Car, to get you off the junk food. I want to thank you, Brown Hornet, for saving the prince. I've learned a good lesson. I'll never eat junk food again. There is no substitute for a good diet. Too much junk food can hurt you. Now, we must away. I know the queen will not have any more problems with junk food in Eden. Or blue car. But I think we're going to have problems. <laughs> will our daring heroes survive their latest dangerous threat? If so, how? Tune in next week for another exciting episode of The Brown Hornet! <laughs> The world's greatest circus is about to begin! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the world's greatest tightrope walker, Weird Harold! That was a near thing, wasn't it? And now, for the grand finale! Presenting... Allow me. <laughs> Presenting the world's greatest, most terrific, most coolest, baddest trained elephant in the world! Jumbo Albert! Oh, Marco!
little elephant. Oh. Okay, mush mouth. Where's Fat Albert? He was Webber Slimmin, a gammon. Slim Noodleton? Yabba. Oh, no. I suppose the two of them are chowing down again. Boo! Oh, we want our money back. Boo! Cool it! Cool it! I'll get your elephant! Hey, if I can get him away from the feed bag. Oh, hi. I was just thinking about having a little treat to... This is my favorite here. Genuine imitation orange. See, a little candy. Now and then, I mean, this doesn't hurt anything. I mean, if you don't overdo it. Now, the trouble with Fat Albert and his new pal Slim is that neither one of them knows when to quit. Hey, hey, hey. Love malted milk balls. Have one on me, Slim. Don't mind if I do. Try one of these. No, better not. I only eat healthy candy, no junk food. Oh, here you are. The scow and the dinghy. Come on. Come on where? Where? Man, I thought elephants were supposed to have good memories. Ooh, ooh, elephant. Uh-oh, the circus. I forgot. Yeah, you forgot. You and your savvy pal here, you never forget to stuff yourselves with junk food. No, no. I don't eat junk food. This is health food. Malted milk balls? Sure. It's got malt in it, milk, all good stuff. Well, come on, Mr. Health Pot. Your fans are waiting. <laughs> See you later, Slim. Well, look who finally made it. Hey, hey, hey. Where's the crowd? They left. They got tired of waiting for the bottom half of the elephant. Yeah, we had to give all the money back. Yeah, the whole 37 cents. Gee, I, um, uh, I mean, uh... Now, now, Fat Albert. I know you feel ashamed of yourself. And you should! You let us all down! Come on, Rudy. Knock it off. Where were you anyway, Fat Albert? I'll tell you where he was. Him and that Slim Noodleton were stuffing their faces with junk food again. Yeah, and you need that just like a hole in your head. <laughs> hey, 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 I don't need this jive. I'm splitting. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me. I'll call you. Well, now, the kids were a little rough on Fat Albert, weren't they? You know, it's not helpful to make fun of anybody. I don't care if it's about eating too much or eating the wrong things, or whatever the reason for it. I mean, they got poor Fat Albert talking to himself. Who those dudes think they're talking to? When that old warehouse said, I should model boats, I should have said, cool it, mate, if you don't want your keel haul. <laughs> Fat Albert. You always talk to yourself. Oh, I was just thinking of the snappy comebacks to the gang. Try some of this coconut caramel chocolate-covered popcorn. Take two. They're small. No, I better not. You? Turning down food? What's the matter? You sick? No, but I gotta cut down. The gang's been ribbing me about eating stuff like that. Come on. Eat this stuff. It doesn't hurt you. Look at me. Yeah, I know the thought of that. Sure. I eat anything I want. You are worrying about it too much. Uh-huh. Could be. Because I only eat good stuff. You've been eating the wrong good stuff. Here. Try some of mine. Well, okay. Maybe just one. There you go. Look. Take it from me, Fat Albert. This coconut caramel chocolate covered popcorn never hurt anybody. Oh. Hey, dudes, what's coming down? Fat Albert just took Slim in to see the dentist. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 Slim, read this. No, go. This eye tooth of mine can't take no reason. Oh. oh. Next. Oh. Relax, son. 
Today, we have all sorts of new improved methods to keep you from feeling any discomfort. You heard the man swim. Today, they have all sorts of new improved methods to keep you from feeling any discomfort. Well, I couldn't have said it any better myself. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, every, everything's okay. Well, my, my, my tooth doesn't hurt anymore. That's nice. But let's just have a little look anyway. Mm. Mm. Huh? Oh, well, honest, Doc. It doesn't hurt one bit. No, sir. Uh, see? Modern science is wonderful, isn't it? I mean, dentists can make a toothache go away just with two magic words. You're next. <laughs> Even though a dentist is down in the mouth most of the time, all he wants is to give you a good smile. <laughs> What's happening now? Slim's just coming out of the dentist's office. So we'll see you back here on Tuesday uh, to get the rest of those cavities taken care of. Now, get a soft bristle toothbrush and use it every day. And most important, uh, stop eating so many sweets. You mean I can't have no more candy? Judging by the shape your teeth are in, you don't eat anything else. That's right, Slim. You don't see me with any cavities. When was the last time you had a checkup? Well, I, um, I, uh... Come on, Albert. Let's have a look, Sam. I don't think Fat Albert counted on this. If Fat Albert hadn't waited so long between checkups, he wouldn't have to be so uptight. I think the dentist is through with him now. What'd he say? Hey, hey, hey. Just a little decay. I've got one small cavity. Huh? Here. But that's it. What do you mean, that's it? I'm turning over a new leaf. By the power invested in me, yours truly, Fat Albert, I hereby do solemnly acknowledge I'm hitting the health road. Health road? <laughs> Number one, I plan to get nothing but super good food in me. Number two, I plan to get my muscles super strong. Number three, I plan to brush my teeth. And I plan to get out of earshot of that kind of jive talk. Huh? I'm going to the candy store to replenish my fuel supply. Not fuel supply, fool supply. Yeah! 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 Well, well, if it isn't the junk food twins. <laughs> Not twins, twin. Fat Albert's eating health junk now, huh? Health food? That's pretty good to me. I think Fat Albert deserves a lot of credit. What you want to eat health food for? Double fudge chocolate bars and cherry peppermint cotton candy never hurt anybody. Hmm. Looks like Slim is shaking some of the kids' faith in the laws of nutrition. Wonder how long you can go breaking the law without paying a big penalty? Hey, 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 let's redo that play. Okay, give me the ball. <coughs> hey, cool it. You're getting mean since you've been on that health food kick. I just got lots of energy since I've been eating right. Well, watch what you're throwing. My stomach's been acting up a little lately. Okay, let's run that pass play. Only this time, get the ball out to me. Come on, Slim. You're the quarterback. Just a minute. Time out for a quick energy break. That's a 10 million quick energy break you took this morning. Okay, ready to go. Line up. Hook one, hook two, hook, hook, hook. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we ever want to plant corn, we know where we can get the plow. <laughs> it's the block away blockbuster. Man, they're the bandits. Fat Albert, we got something for you. What's this? We're flinging the gauntlet at you. 
consider yourself flung. We challenge you to a Super Junkyard Bowl Championship football game. This whole grain cereal's here to stay. Sure proud of you, Robert. The way you've been eating right. It wouldn't hurt all of us to be more careful of our diets. I gotta go now to practice. This is the most important championship game in the whole world. Bye. Hmm, you know, I think that Fat Albert's diet is even getting to me. I'd rather have this. No question about it. Your body knows no substitute for good fresh fruit. It's one of the best ways to make sure you get enough vitamins. But there's still one body who still hasn't gotten the message. Up to lift to my, get those knees in the sky. Hey, what's with you, Slim? Why don't you lay off that junk food and get in shape with the rest of us? Don't worry about old Slim. Besides, you all missed one spare tire. This one. <laughs> Don't kid yourself, Slim. I'm in great shape. How's your stomach? Oh, don't worry about me. Come on, enough of this small talk. We got work to do. You know it. Let's go. Don't you dudes fret about old Slim. <laughs> yes, sir. When the chips are down, old Broadway Slim will pull you through. Okay, team, let's run to our secret play. Now remember, this is the big game busting play. Hop one, hop two. Let go of the ball, you turkey. I can't, the ball's all sticky with candy and junk. Look, Sam, I don't mind you messing up your insides with all that junk food, but don't mess up our ball with it. Okay, okay. Signals. Huh. Two. Hey, hey, hey. I'm open. Slim, Mom wants you to come home to supper right now. Let go. I don't want no supper. You miss supper three times this week already. Oh, get lost. But Mom says you're not getting enough good food like meat and fish and milk. You come on. Let go, you hear? Oh. You know, Slim used to be a good quarterback at one time, but I'm beginning to wonder if they don't have the wrong member of the family on the team. <laughs> What do you suppose it's going to take to make Slim wake up to the truth of what his bad diet is doing to him? Yay! Yay! Okay, Slim, the score is tied. Put the extra point through the uprights, and we win! No sweat. Still tied 84 to 84. Only one thing to do. Slim, try an outside kick. Don't tell me what to do. I just got a great idea. I'm gonna try an onside kick. That's the only kind you've been kicking all day. <laughs> for a big game busting play. This is our last chance. You heave me the long ball. No sweat. Signals. Huck. Throw the ball. Interception! 
Jim Slim. Well, there you are, Slim just didn't have the stomach for it, eating all that junk food, that is. Now, not only did Slim let down Fat Albert and the kids, but he let himself down, too, and I think he's finally got the message. Junk food will eventually catch up to you. Slim and all of us have to know that we have to take care of our bodies, and eating the right thing is a vital part of it. Now, if you don't get enough vitamins, minerals, proteins, and other essentials, your body will be in big trouble. You're kidding yourself, Slim. 